Why, hello, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. Alrighty then. I'm so excited. Um, I've wanted to have a Wasteland 3 for many, many years since I first played it back in like 2014, 2015, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm finally, I'm happy it's finally here. I hope they've done it justice because the original, for its time, big note on that, um, for its time was very good. It actually influenced a lot of RPGs, especially that of the kind of post-apocalyptic turn-based genre. Hey Raven, how you doing dude? Some Nemo. Um, so I'm hoping maybe they've taken everything they've learned over the years and they're applying it to this. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. First off, we're going to be doing a solo run. Because I want to play through it. Um, however, um, I will probably also do a co-op run with Smash. Smash has got the game. I don't think he's played it yet. Um, but he informed me yesterday. I didn't actually know this until literally last night. Um, that it's multiplayer. I don't know. To my knowledge, it's multiplayer of the story. So me and Smash will probably do a run of that as well. Um, but yeah, let's just jump on in. I'm like proper excited. As with all new starts, let me know how audio is. Make sure there's no tech issues, stuff like that. Why is there a naked man? <clears throat> what about you? What about you? Because it's nice looking and you want to look at you. Where, what, what? You okay, Raven? Do you need a hug? Right, so... Effect difficulty rookie. For players more interested in the story than combat, a less lethal sub-zero hellscape. Wastelander. For new and returning players who want to experience the wastes as intended, a harsh but fair apocalypse. My friendly fire's off now. Um, new combat difficulty. Uh, for veteran strategy game players seeking challenge a cruel and unforgiving world, hard combat difficulty. Friendly fire on. Supreme jerk. For the hardest of the hard, a soul killing nightmare of brutality, not even remotely fair. Um. I'm going to go Ranger. I would like to know what this means. These options are always recommended for experienced Wasteland players. Friendly fires on. If enabled range attacks made by your squad members will be able to hit other squad members who are in the way. It does not affect AoE items. And abilities such as Grenade. Oh, it doesn't affect that. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go Ranger. We're going to get two. we got to do one as well. Possibly. We'll see how what the replayability is like. Ranger HQ has dispatched a convoy of rangers to Colorado to establish a lifeline of vital supplies to Arizona. Can't really see that because my cam's in the way, but once we see what the UI is like, I might I'll move it accordingly. Uh, yeah, I am all kinds of ready. Also, note today, today's stream won't go as late as I would normally try to, especially on a Friday, um, as we've moved our D&D &D night from Saturday to Friday, so we've got D&D night at midnight, midnight for me back to that in a moment. You must have was a man first, Edward LB. Cutscenes. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. 
Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass and Ranger Team November crossed the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Well, that was cool. We have actual cutscenes now. Hey, Winter. Fortunately, you're working so you may miss a portion of a past broadcast or a thing. Very true. Plus, this will be going up on YouTube. Never fear. Uh, me, Winter, make me in here. Um, no. Um, I'm not going to be making uh, characters into, like, cat members. Um, purely because, unlike XCOM where I do it, this has a limited squad size. Which I know XCOM does as well, technically, but you have, like, a battalion of soldiers you can change, swap in and out. Which, to my knowledge, this doesn't. Um, so we are going to um, kind of go with it. Also, I'm not entirely sure how this works. But I do see a custom characters button, so we'll see. Um, also, to finish off what I was saying before is D&D um, &D night has moved from Saturday to Friday. So I'll be ending at about... Well, as long as I keep going, as long as I intend to go, I'll be ending about 11 o'clock my time. Maybe a little bit after. Um... um then, you know, we'll um, be doing that. However, I do intend to be live tomorrow, Sunday, and so on and so forth as per norm. But I also have Monday off of work because it's bank holiday. So, long stream Monday. <clears throat> anyway, right. Uh, young Rangers, lovers and rivals since first joined the Rangers, Yuri and Spencer's competitiveness drives them to excellence and risky dares. Punk lovers, those are terrifying. Thrills, kills, and spills of the life breath of these star-crossed punk rock lovers who fought their way out of the cult they were raised in. Father and daughter. William has been a nearly wordless killing machine since his wife died. His daughter, Leeting, does all the talking and some of the killing. Mentor and student. Mercs who have served under, under good commanders and bad. They hope this time they're fighting for folks who won't make them do terrible things. Heads, science geeks who fell in love. They are socially awkward with outsiders, but chatty with each other, re reveling in reveling in in jokes, inside jokes. Only they get. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna go custom boys. Coyote and hawk. What do you pair look like? Um. I mean, the names are fine, I guess. We're in it now. Choo choo! Here comes the pain train. <laughs> Come and get it, scumbags. Oh man, this is not the best way to begin an engagement. Uh oh, they have us at a disadvantage. They see us. They see us. If you want to brawl, knock yourselves out. If you want to brawl, knock yourselves out. Oh, are we going? Okay. Are you crazy? Here they come. Get ready. We can handle this, right? 
you start. Uh, I think it. we're gonna uh -oh. go. They have us at a disadvantage. Uh -oh. They see. They see us. New we'll targets ice. incoming. Backgrounds. Bookworm, you grew up in the Ag Center in Arizona, raised among scientists, which means you know how to do research. It's not hard. People just aren't in the habit of picking up books anymore, which is good because no one knows all your clever jokes and pickup lines are completely stolen from dead 20th century authors. Plus 5% experience. That's not bad. Um, perceptions plus one. We're just going to go by the classes for, or the bonuses first, and then we'll pick which one and read it. <clears throat> Fire damage bonus. Explodo Maniac. Extra explosive damage. Golden Killer. Crit chance. Grease Monkey. Bonus damage to robots. Bonus damage to vehicles. But melee damage bonus. Kiss ass. Money bags. Evasion. Crit resistance. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> bonus damage to humans. A sex machine. Combat speed. Plus what? People. People hoard money, power, they kill each other, steal, all for nothing. Getting laid, it's biology. It's the reason we do everything, you know it, you don't hide it, and you do it better than anyone. We're animals. And for being honest, it feels good to be an animal. Thank you. Uh, the stoner. Status effect, resistance, plus 10%. Hard ass. Penetration, plus 2 didn't survive the slave pen because you were most clever. You didn't endure the lashes and heat because you were the strongest. You survived that hell because of your hate. Hate choked your captors to death and hate set you free. Thanks to the Desert Rangers and their mission, you're putting that hate to good use. Um, I think we'll go. Sorry about that chat. Mum came in and she was fucking around using my mirror. Um, right, I think we're gonna go. A weapon. Old posters make it clear, the 1980s were a good time to be an out of control cop. They were taking out bad guys and they didn't care if they did it by the book. You don't either. You've been Taking the fight to slavers and crime bosses without backup since you joined the Desert Rangers, the only thing that would make it perfect is if someone called you a loose. And then, oh, we'll do that. Um, got Coyote, Male, Ice, and his lethal weapon boy. Earrings. We're going to make him look stylish. Or horrendous. Probably horrendous. This is a good start. <laughs> um, I'll make him an old man. Oh god. I'm in the second page. Yeah. Oh, it's like a backup head tattoo. Um, like scars and stuff. We'll go. Bit of a tango in, shall we? Wait. Why does it change the color of the tattoo depending on what skin color you are? Very strange. I can be a green man? Why am I a green man? I can be a blue man! Oh, let's be blue. Blue's weird. Weird neck tattoos. Sure. Yeah. Give him King Mullet <laughs> Hoff <laughs> Viking, you blue boy Viking. Tempting. Vicious the Rotter Sex Explosion. <laughs> it's fucking. Oh god, no, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Uh, 
Gothabilly. Cool kid. Mohawk. Spike Hawk. Nova. Um. Bag. Grunge Girl. Hot Mess. Kelsey Bob. Fiorentino. Shvoop. Uh, you're happy now? You can watch my streams now on Wi-Fi and in AC. There is a much better experience. Damn these hairstyles. Eight T's. Porcupine. Battle braids. Soul glow. These hairstyles are so good. Over and over. Uh, we're gonna go... We'll go Viking. We are gonna change the skin color back though, actually. I need to change the face. There's something about the face that's annoying me. Um, give him like... But we'll do that. Um, well, that's more Viking like. We'll do that. Yeah, what well, if he's a fucking up the beard on that boy? Henchman, the hermit, the Wendigo. What the fuck? El, Con El Conquistador. El Conquistador? Whatever you, however you say that. Um, we'll go. We're gonna go with the henchman. Full blown hairy bastard. A helmet. Just to undo everything I just did. I don't like the wind to it, not gonna lie. Wrench helmet. Ghost bird shroud. Spike hawk ushanka. Hey, Jeff. Plague doctor helmet, that's kinda cool. Nuclear winter hood. Grim beret. Sniffer mask. Rancher hat. Gallon hat. Cowboy hat. A face mask. Iron Mayhem, that's kind of cool. Death Breather mask. Orchard Goldie mask. <laughs> oh, he looks like fucking is it Jason. The Pain Freak mask. I kind of like that. Super creepy. Tunnel Rat mask. Death Shed mask. Is it fucking like copper? Pops. Um, station. Light gas mask, heavy gas mask, the red uh, mask. Okay, um, we're gonna go. Sure. Jacket. What we got? Let's go. Outrider. Very heavy. Range of Varen. Oh, cool. we'll go Varen. Can I scroll down and see his legs? No. Gunslinger pants. Uh, we're gonna go... Ranger Outrider again. Um, kind of, ooh. Proper customization, this is... Bog. Um... I'll give him... I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna change the helmet. The helmet's annoying me now. Doesn't suit. Um... Yeah. Well, I like the Plague Doctor, actually. The fact that he goes into nothing is kind of strange, but sure. Um, my color. Make him. 
the uh, black and like they're giving me a fucking character customization. This is shouldn't have done this. Bad idea. Uh, change this one. Right. I like the uh, the grey. Slightly lighter grey, and we'll go. Go white. Physique. Giant. How can I? What happens? Oh my god, he's teeny, teeny tiny man. I love him. So good. Now we're gonna go giant, and we'll go. Uh, we're gonna go jacked. Portrait. Got the fucking portrait system, I see. Um, is there just like a plague doctor looking? Why's there got to be a clown? Come on now. Oh, nice. Um, so, why's he got like an old diving helmet? <laughs> Guess that's kind of not close at all. Go with that guy. It's kind of GP-esque. Coyote starting weapon. Hmm. Go with assault rifles. Assault rifles are the wasteland all rounders, mobile, quick to fire with decent range and decent damage. They also penetrate all but the heaviest of armor. Yep. Get one for everyone on your Christmas list. Uh, SMG, if you've got a clear shot like you're shooting some punk in the back, an SMG is devastating. They're not so great against enemies in cover or heavy armor, so you've got to be mobile and pick your targets. But when you do, damn. Give me a pistol. Pistols are accurate and quick and deal solid damage to unarmored enemies, but have a hard time penetrating armor. On the plus side, if you want to quickly build your strike meter, a terrific choice. I wonder what that is. I'm a shotgun. You won't do a lot of damage to single enemies with a shotty, but if you want to hurt two or three at once, they're the way to go. Everyone in front of you will catch some lead. They're also great for blowing away enemy cover. Sniper rifles. Sniper rifles are too slow and too heavy to fire on the move, but they have fantastic range. High armor pen and do a ton of damage. Find a nice quiet spot, sit yourself down, and get to sniping. Hey, weapon. Your best friend in the waist is a finely honed blade. Blades. Blades and are perfect for fighters who like to get up close and personal. They often they strike often and deal high damage to enemies with light armor. Blunt weapon it doesn't get more basic than hitting people with a stick, or more satisfying. Um, blunt weapons deal high damage to enemies in heavy armor, and with a little training, you can stun with them too. Oh, that's tempting. Rolling sometimes you just want to haul off and sock somebody. Rollers start out weak, but have a huge potential at higher levels. They also gain critical hit bonuses for each consecutive strike. So make with the jabby jabby. Heavy weapon. Heavy machine guns deal tons of damage and punch through armor with ease. Shooting them while moving, however, is almost impossible. They're too far, blah, 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 they're far too heavy and, in, and inaccurate. But training, they're great for laying down covering fire. Uh, I think we're going to go blunt weapon. We're going to smack a bitch with like a hammer or some shit. <clears throat> Attributes. Okay, so it looks like they've simplified this a little bit. Coordination. Coordination is your physical condition, self-control, and health. Take care of your body and it will take care of you. So more max action points, more action points in general, and status effect resistance. Luck. Luck is your guardian angel. Whether you're lining up that decisive attack, dodging incoming fire, or down to your bottom dollar, sometimes the winds of fortune blow your way. Extra penetration, lucky action chance, lucky crit chance, and lucky mega crit chance. Okay. Um, awareness is your sense of your surroundings. A good ranger knows what that often it's your eyes and ears that keep you alive. So more hit chance, more perception, range damage bonus. Okay, strength. Strength is your raw physical power and ability to shrug off harm. It lets you hit harder, throw further, and also serves as a requirement for the biggest, baddest heavy weapons and armor. Plus 10 to con. Get plus 3 con per level. Melee damage bonus, plus 6. Throwing damage. Here. Oh, throwing range rather is 0.2 meters and equips equip items requiring two strength without penalties. 
Speed. Speed is your physical quickness and reaction time. Strike first, strike true, and then get out of there. Intelligence. Intelligence is your ability to make mental connections and do tactical thinking. So crit chance, crit damage, critical heal chance, critical heal bonus, and plus one skill point every two intelligence. Plus one skill point every two intelligence. Interesting. Charisma. Charisma is your force of will and personality. A charismatic ranger can unleash strike abilities more often, learn and adapt more quickly, and can be a more effective leader. Strike rate plus four percent. Leadership range plus four meters. Experience bonus plus four percent. Mission reward bonus two percent. Interesting. Okay. And how many? We've got seven points remaining. So we can't be a strong boy, obviously. Um, let's put in three in strength. We'll go two speed and then on. I guess. Quick boy that hits hard. Has a bit of extra health. Okay. Good. What's that? Those three? Eels. Okay, so you've got combat skills, general skills, exploration skills, and social skills. Well, fuck the social skills right now, because I couldn't give a shit. Um, four points. combat makes you more effective with bladed and blunt weapons recommended tribute strength coordination and speed look what I just buffed um, so that's the one in there um, animal whisperer allows you to tame friendly animals to follow you and temporarily tame hostile animals in combat level 3 and above explosives first aid sneaky shit Makes it easy to disarm alarms, evade detection, spot hidden objects, and damage unaware enemies. I like how they called it sneaky shit instead of like rogue or stealth. Weird science. Decreases damage you deal with unconventional types of weapons and serves as requirements for exotic high tech equipment. Um. Name animals, disarm landmines and traps, healing in general, um, exploration, armor modding, allows you to modify armor granting increased protection and additional benefits, lock picking, nerd stuff, allows you to use hack computers and turn hostile robots to your side, open containers, doors and other lock gadgets, so glad they um, bundled that instead of having lock picking and safe cracking, that was such a ball lake in the last one. Um, you can repair vehicles, generators, and other machines more effectively. You also do more damage to mechanical foes. Proof your ability to avoid dangers on the world map and contend with hostile wildlife. Toast repair allows you to repair broken toasters. Weapon modding allows you to modify your weapons and strip them down for parts. Um, we're gonna go. Um, armor modding. We'll go weapon modding. Five, or possibly. Uh, actually, as far as nearby and grants your ability to command the battlefield. Um, we'll just go more melee. <laughs> we'll go melee and big guns. Oh, we'll do that. As it looks like we only get two dudes from the start. I'm trying to kind of pace how I put my skills in as opposed to in the last one where I was just like, fuck it, max strength. Right, quirk. Quirk. Some ranges are quirkier than others. Quirks are completely optional. Selecting a quirk gives your ranger a powerful bonus and, and penalty, changing their playstyle dramatically. Character creation is the only chance you have to sign a quirk and once, once you do, you're stuck with it. Choose wisely. Okay. 
<laughs> you are a relatively unexceptional person. Blunderer, people like teasing you about dumb strength and the smart application of force. You like squeezing those people until one of their bones breaks. Melee damage bonus plus 15%, crit chance down. Now oh, I like crits. Bop bag. It's just a part of life. The important thing after you get hit is that you pivot on your way to base and rotate back up again. I'm a plus six. Hmm. Focus freak. It transforms you and you become its vessel. It's funny. No one even cared who you were until you put on the nose. Combat speed, crit resistance, evasion and detection time. Deathwish. They don't get it. There's a bullet out there with your name on it and it won't matter what gear you're wearing when it comes. Until then, you're better off moving fast and lean. Can't wear armor of any kind. You get plus three max action points and you get plus three action points per turn, I presume that is. Uh, that's interesting. Might be fun to do a build with that. Um, Doomsday Prepper. You're here because your family didn't trust the media. They were prepped and you won't let them down. You've got your bug out bag and packed and you ain't reading no lying books. 85% status effect resistance. Bone Wolf. When you were on your own, you only got reflexes. When your reflexes kept you alive, now you've got allies but you still got to go your own way. Leadership has no benefits on you, but you get plus 20% initiative. Skill books. Medical Marvel. You're, you're hearty. You've never had the sniffles or a toothache. You even bounce back from nasty injuries, but when something does knock you out, you stay down. Can't be revived during combat. Plus 5 comp per level. So you can make him like an uber tank. Mime. God help you. You are a mime. You are complete silent, silent but you have the combat sturdiness of an entertain entertainer in grease paint. More detection time, minus the con, throwing range. So many. Point next to this might be the worst period in history to be a physically underdeveloped brainiac, but knowledge will always be power. Plus one bonus skill point every two level ups. Worth the minus eight con and the con per level though. Prospector, uh, Dad Burnett, you've got the gold fever. You reckon these folks won't mind you hauling a pickup or a pan along with, so as long as you keep fishing up them yellow nuggets, occasionally discover valuable gold nuggets while digging. Minus one quick slots. Range, but okay. Horomaniac. Most Colorado natives appreciate a warm fire, but you bring it to another level. You love the flame in an... Your love of... Your love for the flame is an obsession that sometimes backfires. 15% chance to catch on fire when using explosives. But you get higher fire damage bonus by 25% and explosive damage bonus. Interesting. That seems somewhat reasonable. You have a thing for pain, say to Masochist, receive 33% damage, you get plus 33% melee damage, plus 33% range damage bonus. You're a killer, you try to keep the bloodlust in check, but every time you kill, you just want more. You get plus 3 AP for each kill in combat once per turn. You lose an action point. In plus 3 AP for each kill in combat once per turn. But as long as you're constantly killing, you're keeping your AP up anyway. Two pump jump. Nice folks finish last and you finish first every time. Start combat with plus two AP for the first two turns. After the first two turns, lo lose minus one AP and 15% hit chance for six turns. Oof. Orangian blood. The fury of ancient warriors flows through you. If you see an ally fall in battle, something inside you snaps. When an ally is down in combat, enter berserker rage, gaining 100% critical chance and three AP for one turn. After Berserker Raid has ended, minus 4 AP for the next two turns. Sounds like it could be fun, not gonna lie. When an ally is down in combat, enter Berserker Rage again. 100% crit chance and extra 3 AP and plus 3 AP for one turn. Then after it, you go into like an exhausted state of minus 4 AP for the next two turns. I kind of want that. You've walked so much for this wasted world that. That the glow got in you. It doesn't even burn anymore, but you're different now in ways you can't explain. Resistance to everything. 100% resistant to everything, but you get less XP. Maybe on another, like, pure tank build. That could be kind of fun on a different run. Way of the Squeezins. Variations of drunken kung fu have flourished in the wasteland. Masters of the form stagger unpredictably and strike with wild rage. They are not, however, popular inhalers. It plus 50% damage while drunk. You get an overall reduction of melee damage and range damage. Uh, yeah, we're going to go Varangian Blood. That sounds like it could be fun. Just don't go down. And if you do, fucking kill everything. Um, Alright, so we've got Coyote and we've got Hawk. Um, 
Looks fine, female. We, you, you start. Uh oh, they have us. Here comes the pain train. Uh, we'll go jerk feminine, why not? And then this, we're gonna go. Five percent crit chance. Proper like DPS build. We've got tank and we've got DPS. We just need a healer now. Um, appearance. Face. Face. Um. Sorry chat, I know it's been like nearly an hour and we're still in the fucking customization, but I have to do it properly, alright? What do you go with that? Creepy as fuck. I wish you could just change the, the colour of the tattoo. Um, hairstyle, let's go... Fucking sex explosion. So random. Um, let's go... I mean, I wind up putting a hat on her anyway, but... But we'll do that and we'll give her... For a redhead, why not? Uh, I'll leave the helmet. Jacket wise. Uh. Tundra, Tundra could be cool. Ants. Oh my color, we're gonna go with like a uh what we got? The other guy's like grey and white. Go. Like standard colour, I guess. Um we'll give her Very bright colours. Can't help but notice. Go like the purple. And then like black stuff. Um we're gonna make her all <laughs> I'm packed. I wonder if that does anything, like whether that actually affects anything. Uh we'll go slender. The opposite of fucking coyote. Um, uh, hair is. Or her picture can be. Yeah. That is horrifying. I kind of wish it just like took a picture of however they actually look and then there's your icon. Um,. Fine starting weapon. We're gonna give her a sniper rifle because we like the sniper rifle. Um, coordination, your physical condition, health control, and health. Okay, so AP, luck. We do a really interesting crit sniper, crit sniper build if I can speak. Um, crit chance, crit damage, crit heal chance. Okay, we're gonna up intelligence. Uh, we are gonna up. Um, 
Chance perception, range damage bonus. Awareness. Luck. Coordination, and then I guess we'll just pump awareness and a good bit of extra speed, and then another intelligence or a charisma. Mm. But we'll go with intelligence. Um, so that's fine, and then skills, sniper rifle. Uh, we're going to give her a first aid point so she can actually heal. Sneaky shit. Oh, she needs lockpicking. Well, I didn't need eh. Yeah, we'll, we'll go lockpicking. What else we got? Got some weapon modding. Got a ship, I believe. One in, actually, no, not, not that. Uh, we'll go small arms. I get. Actually, not on that early loot, you know. Um, I'm not going to give her a quirk. We're just going to keep her nice and simple. All right, Coyote and Hawk. Obviously, because I'm too lazy to change the uh, the names. Hold him up, Team November. That chick, oh, she went in the water. Alright, well, hold up, because the sound's a bit wonky. Uh, sound. Let's reduce the effects a little bit, and then. We should be fine, hopefully, we'll turn that down again. Okay, right, um. Combat movement. During combat, your rangers may need to take cover or change attack positions. Blue space are areas as a, areas a ranger can move to with enough AP left for an attack. Orange space are areas within their maximum movement range. The red target preview lines show if their new positions place them within target's range. Okay. Very XCOM-esque. He's got 81 HP, 8 AP. There's our health. That's our armor, I guess. These are our weapons. Um, he's out in this character's quick slot. Thundering strike. Dodge up this ability with each successful attack. Leap up and slam the ground, sending out a stunning shockwave around you. Uh, spend the rest of these ranges action points to gain a bonus of your choice. Oh, and then you can go ambush. Set up an attack that will trigger on the enemy's next turn. Use all remaining AP, gaining plus 5% hit. Chance per extra AP spent. You can now protect yourself from an attack. Use all remaining AP, gaining plus 5 evasion for each spent. Uh, end your turn and carry over up to two unused AP to your next turn. Abilities. And I cannot change stance when I cover. Reload. Attack. Attack with your current weapon. Um, okay. Ninety-three percent Dorsey Stalker. hit you and then move. That's 8 AP. I've only got 8 AP though. I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to... Med hop. You've been come out for exploration. Just to restore 50% con. And healed increases with the first aid skill level. Okay. 81 HP at the minute. We're going to... Ambush a boy. Now we've got Hawk. Hawk has 7 AP. He's 63 health. 
flying sniper, base hit chance 75%, range 36 ammo, 42 ammo, and range 8, okay. Um, attacking. Left click an enemy within your weapons range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your hit chance above their head. Okay. Alright. Um, he. Got a little pistol. Do that, boy. Vision strike, charge up ability with each successful attack, target specific area of an enemy to inflict special effects. That's pretty cool. The fuck is that? That's all right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Pick. Um, Dorsey Warbot. I don't like the look of you. Bobber that boy. Oh. Big chunky damage. Not enough AP. Okay. Can I change my space to end turn? Because I'm so used to that. Space is end turn. Once you've finished acting with a character, you may have action points left over. That's okay. You can put them to good use by opening your quick bar and selecting one of the final actions. Ambush, defend, or repair. Okay. Can I swap? Oh, I can just kind of swap whenever, I guess. Okay, that's cool. Um, we will prepare. He will... 6 AP to shoot. Bend. No. Can that gun start shooting back, please? Everybody's dying. Do I now? Vehicle turret online. It's time to even the odds. Left click on the vehicle or use tab to select it, then attack the Dorsey Warbot to take it out. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna hit Coyote, so I need to move him. Uh, so. I'm gonna just, like, run. Yeah. Pop this boy. And back here. What is this? Free AP to use that. Okay. Defend. I will use you. Fucking eradicate this shit. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. I just one shot these guys. Yeah. 
Alrighty, uh, one AP left, so we'll defend. Go on, love, fuck him up. Destroyed that bitch. Seed of fire. Oh, you're in this. Oh, God. Um, I like free aim this. Man. Sick. Over here, you two. Come here. Listen. If you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch them front and back. Got it? Okie dokie. Stood. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. Alright, move out! Alrighty. Um <laughs> Look at them doodle bugs run! Come on, cousins! Don't let them scatter! Keep them together while I reload the rocket gun! Oh, man, I love this thing! Rangers are injured, unfortunately, or fortunately, they are also equipped with med hypos they can use to heal themselves. To use one, left click your item button in the quick bar and then click on thing. Okay. This. Group versus individual selection. You're now controlling a single character. This is useful when setting up setting up before a fight. Not navigating past landmines and traps. However, while exploring the world, it's generally better to keep your entire squad together. You can quickly select everyone by pressing space or by left clicking and dragging the cursor box selector. Okay. Basic movement. To move your characters, right click on the ground where you like to go. You can also hold down the mouse button and your characters will follow your mouse cursor. Try it now to proceed with caution. Okay. Um, Alright, sick. You need to heal as well, though. There we go. Okay. I loot stuff. Burned book. It's unreadable. Muscle tissue. A heap of muscle, tendon, tripe, and organs. The raw materials needed for entry level mad science. The red button. Um, what we got? We got spikes, which is an ammunition made from rusty nails and powder cartridges. It's like 1776 all over again. This ammo is used only in the jankiest of homemade weapons. Crap. Uh, who'd think there's anything valuable about this? Door. Uh, yellow snowball. The impact only lasts a moment, but the shame lasts a lifetime. Yellow snowball. Throw it at target characters to leave them wondering when their life turned wrong. On success, 10% chance to apply the stink. 5% chance to apply Black Thor, 5% chance to apply Denver Rot, 5% chance to apply Freezer Burn, and 5% chance to apply Ice Pox, 5% chance to apply Rocky Mountain Oyster. Uh, yes. Uh, same stuff. Just a hunk of plastic now, spent a bit glider, okay. Don't mind if I do. Nothing left to require. Washed in the blood. There are powder burns in this ranger jacket. They were shot at point blank range. Okay. Um. Shotgun shells and some crap. Okie dokie. Get off the ice! Oh. I'm just 
destroyed. This ranger was beaten to death. Army. Ranger's corpse's eyes are wide open. They reflect the fire of burning trucks. Well, check it. The truck is empty. It looks like the occupants managed to escape, but you can't tell where they went. Um. Oh, that, okay, that changes their position. Oops. Do that. Um. Someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. What is? CEO, how should I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head. It's gonna be me who bring it to Jarrett. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. You're hiding her from me. You're denying me my glory. Get that fucking gun off of me. I don't know. Fuck! Your friends are here. Just... Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Who are you people and why are you attacking us? You ain't heard of the Dorseys? The bringers of the Deluge? Ha! <laughs> You're more ignorant than I thought. Best of I told oh. you I'd kill her! Hey, well, instant vengeance. What's to take his key? Uh, good luck. Tape from Jody's folks wishing her well on the mission with the Rangers. Oh, You listen to it? Moldy sock. There's something living in there and it ain't your foot. Colorado dollars, the Patriarch's official currency. His face is on the front of every bill. Douche. Down here. Anything down here? No? Okay. Not up here. Uh. Empty those. Check the campsite, I guess. Looks like the Dorseys haven't been camped here long. They must have known you were coming. Alright. Blood! Blood for the deluge! Blood for the deluge! No! Joey! No! <laughs> Don't worry, crap baby. You won't be grieving long. Murders! Sick fucks! Right. Um, well, we need to... We never should have signed up for this shit. Hi, boys. I see you shit stings. Okay, so that's what that <laughs> circle is in. Ow. I'll slash off some bacon flank. Ow. I'm going to kick the ever-living shit out of you in a minute. Taking cover, quick take cover, taking cover protects you from enemy gunfire and improves your weapon's hit chance. There are two types of cover, low and high. High cover provides the best protection. Watch out though, cover only protects you from attacks coming from that direction. That enemy has taken cover. To flank them, try moving to a new firing position on the battlefield by hovering on a grid space with the mouse cursor and right clicking. Well then. What if I kick this guy in the dick first? I, I don't have any items on this boy, that's unfortunate. Uh, that's what, 3 AP? Got 1 AP left. Don't defend. Strikes. Your strike meter is 4. You charge up your strike meter each time you make a successful attack. Each weapon type has a unique strike. A powerful strike. A powerful special attack that can turn the tide of battle. Click the strike button in the quick bar or press F to give it a shot. So, precision strike. Uh, 
don't know, is that... Uh... Oh, here we go. So, head deals 25% bonus damage. Plus 50% 50 chance deals 175% bonus damage. Arms reduce the target's hit chance by 25%. 30% chance deals 50% plus 50% bonus damage and reduces the target's damage by 25. I mean, either way, I'm 30% this guy's dead. Body deals plus 35% bonus damage and reduces the target's arm by 75%. Target's combat speed by 0 0.8. Inflict bleeding on the target. So, well, we're just going to go for the headshot. Well, we win. Um, and I'm going to defend. You being there is not nice. I don't like you. Go away. Beat the piss out of him. Hmm. Okay, good shot, good shot. We need to get her about a gun. This thing sounds horrendous. Um. <laughs> get him! Oh. What is all this? Is this for like, um... Is this for pre-ordering, I guess? Oh! 27 to 23? No, 27 to 33. Rude but effective but still very crude. Uh, 8% base chance to hit. Uh, crit damage is 2.7%. Chance is 4% and does 4 pen. This has less chance to hit, but has the same stats. But higher pen? Yeah. And it has a 25% chance to apply frozen. Interesting. Roasty toasty. What me your enemy's cockles the blast of burning diesel fuel? Okay, um, this is interesting. What, is it shared inventory, I guess? I guess so. Um, I could also have one of those, I guess. And if we got a better sniper? Oakman Winter. Old Breath Sniper Rifle. What's this? 75, 2.4, 8%, 6 pen, 10% strike rate. 75, 2.4, 8, 7 pen, higher pen, higher strike rate. Yes, you can equip that. I ain't using no garbage. Blade of Windor. A grizzly brawling weapon. Interesting. Ranger General's hat. Plus one to everything. And you can tick whether it shows or not. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, what's Ranger badge? Five percent experience bonus. We have quite the gear here. I'm um, sure we'll put that. And uh, you can buy it on self. So we got the War Pig, heavy machine gun. 9 to 13 damage, but times 10, so it fires 10 rounds. Even the Roasty Toasty, which I'm quite tempted to try out the Roasty Toasty. Energy, fire, cold, and explosion damage. Elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types are energy, fire, cold, and explosive damage. 
Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types and resist resistance resistant to others. If I could speak today, that would be a wonderful time. Um, okay, cool. I like it. Um, sure. Uh, this. Stay as we are. Also, slap that cheeky save button. And we'll do some losing. Oh, medic pack. Ammo and spikes and shit. And can junk. Rusty nose ring, you keep telling yourself the green bits are just corrosion. Totally. Um, do you know what? We'll use you then. And then we'll equip. Dick. Why didn't you get here sooner? Look what they did to Joey. He, he's dead. We're about your friend, but we now have to save ourselves. Come on, we have to keep moving. Damn right. Gotta get poor Joey back to AC. Now we're back across the lake. Only our hope, our only hope is to press forward. I don't care. I'm finding a way back. I can't let Joey be buried here. The ground's too cold. Uh, we need you. You can still fight. Are you kidding yourselves? We are done. Just let me go. Even without Good. you. Then. We don't need you. Deserters. Do it, Joe. Just shot the old tank. Would have made for a uh, good time. He's not alive, okay. Um, alright. That's that. Ranger was dragged off a vehicle, disemboweled, and left to die of blood loss and cold. Rough. Take like that. What the fuck? Guts. Hmm. Aid box. Air grenade. Upgrading your gear one. You've used an item upgrade. Click the inventory button on the HUD or use I to access the inventory and, create and equip new gear. Sick. Upgrading your gear two. Let's equip your new gear. Choose a ranger by selecting their portrait near the top of the inventory screen or pressing tab. Then left click and drag the item from your inventory to the character. Okay. Um. Um. Wait. So what am I doing? I had an upgrade or something. Uh more you impact the lives of people of Colorado, the more locals will recognize you. As your fame grows, more folks will sign up to become rangers, filling out the ranks of guards and staff as a ranger ranger HQ. Um okay. This is the map. Oh god. Point of interest. It's a water trial. That's got a horrible sound to it, not gonna lie. Uh attributes, perks. I Okay. Um Smash, how's the game so far? I'm really enjoying it. So far, they've made some really nice tweaks. Um, <laughs> yeah, he dead as fuck. Um, yeah, we, we have to do a, a co-op run. This is this should be so much fun. Um, 
yeah, I, I may or may not have spent like an hour in the character creator, but I don't care, it was worth it. They walk it off. <laughs> that noise. Oh, hi, another one of you. I have to bite you. Kind of scary. Oh, God. Enemy detection. Look out, there's a big ass robot ahead. Luckily, it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of its detection range to go unnoticed. You can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spotted you. However, However, we cannot stress enough how badly that robot will fuck you up right now. Computer to display reads Aegis Automated Defense Network. Status ready. Enter command. Uh, disable defenses. Defense network disabled. Sys admin authorization required for restart. Uh, does he have it by any chance? You gonna wander back? Okay. Don't know where your aggro line is. Oh. Ranger was crawling away from his vehicle when he was killed. Someone sliced him open with a knife and let him bleed to death. Um, okay. Well. Oh wait, look at this. Fighting rangers were turned into Swiss cheese, probably by those gun-toting mechanical death machines over there. You'd best avoid them entirely. Let's say. You ain't... You ain't ready for the deluge. Generator. Uh, pick lock. Why is lock pick? Okay, so there's no like a success rate anymore, it's just you have to have a certain level to be able to open it and stuff. Scout armor chest. I'm designed to protect against the most dangerous enemy in Colorado. Gold. Sick. Let's give the tank the armor. Hell oh, yeah. What does the generator do? The weapon crate. Wow, what was that? Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat that indicates how well they're able to spot hidden objectives like alarms, traps, or secrets. My face hurts. Got a nightstick, though. A smoke grenade. Well-made smoke screen devices include multi-spectrum components that hinder both optical target acquisition and electronical sensors. Roads create a persistent smoke cloud that conceals anyone standing within, significantly increasing their evasion. Nice. Okay. Um... Well, that hurt my face a bit. I... We had an extra one, didn't we? Yeah. You... You use... If I do this, and then... Okay, there we go. It's fine! And she's got the other one auto-equipped. Nice. Um, let me... Hey, squad. Oh, so you end up having a six-man squad. Dick. Player creates characters required in each party. Oh, I didn't mean it. Do I? Okay, there we go. Um, option. Down. Let's just turn that down a bit. Try that. Um, let's play with the generator. Break this box. How do I? Oh, X is still the change weapon. Sick. Rangers, Prasad here. Took care of the hostiles who jumped me. Basically, good it smells. Casa or Britti? She wounded. Rabbit's poor. Lucky for you, maybe not so much for the rabbit. Plus, you've seen crit chance. 
Man up sheet. Sign up for the chicken fight battle royale. Ten teams will enter the lake, but only one will emerge victorious. Sign ups available now for our premium club members. Please note, participants would also need to sign the wrongful death waiver sheet. Thanks. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Uh, looks like we're going to swap some stuff around then. Because she should have that. Oops. And he. You both. Walk together, please. Box. Medical crate. Injury kit. Seven medical tools designed for surgical treatment and other serious injuries. Used to remove any injuries the target character has on success. Removes injury. Archer spike. Incapacity party members don't need to stay down. All they need is the spike. A friend and a quick stab in the heart. Used to revive all incapacitated squad members. Nice. Uh, okay, more bullets. Why... Okay, why are you not walking? <laughs> On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. In the door. Hmm. Himself an oh, RPG. Damn it. Oh, looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> okay then. <clears throat> yeah, Smash, if you want to play at any point, let me know. I'm down to... I've not gotten very far at all, so... My big brother. He'd have loved to take a piece out of you. But that's okay. I'll bring him one later. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> You don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save <laughs> But I wanted to do that. They don't kill Jared. They don't go and kill Jared. Never shut up. Head All right, up smash Rangers. More incoming. We can play some later then. Combat started. All right. Um. We haven't tried this yet, and I kind of want to. Kill them, they're dirty bastards. Oh, what's eight four AP to fire this thing? Torrent strike, charge ability with each successful attack, each fire a torrent of death in a wide area. I guess that's what. That is. Oh no, maybe that's just the. Is that the arc is gonna fuck it. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> he's, he's a bit wounded. He's more wounded, but he's a bit wounded. Um, okay. What, is, what does this mean? Why I can... I, don't know what that, I mean, I guess what the fire means, but... Um... Two blocks. Two. Okay. 
I guess that happened. Well, I'm gonna, um... Hmm. Get over here and get ready to bop this boy. Chop chance, what we got? Two... Sitting up there is a bad idea. When your rangers have been down, rangers are down when they reach zero con, they'll stay down for several turns before becoming incapacitated. Now the character can reach them before that happens, they can spend some of their action points to revive them. Okay. Let's kill his mate. Thing is, this is a bit of a shitty spot. Do that again without blowing myself up. I also need to remember that I'm on, uh, like, second hardest difficulty. People of Colorado will never know what impact Desert Rangers might have had on their land, whether you might have changed their lives for the better or the worse, or ended them entirely. Real shit. Ugh. Uh, well. It's cool to have it in a different setting as well, because in Wasteland 2, the um, general... I know it's set in Arizona, which is just a giant fucking desert, basically. Or at least to my understanding, especially in that video game. Um, but in the snowy mountains area, it's kind of cool. I like it. Let's try this again. Open the door. I'll just whack him with a hammer this time. Oh, I skipped this. It. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. My big brother. <laughs> no one's coming to save me. Holy shit! They gonna kill Jared. <laughs> Thought he'd <sighs> never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. You should be useful this time. New targets uh, incoming. Who targeted you coming? Right, well, I can't really get to any of you boys. Sadly. Um. Hmm. A lot of explosives around, which kind of scares me. Go up here. Uh, to beat on this dude. Oh, there's a med pack box. Why does it say I still got 8 AP? I don't know, but I won't question it. 
Brit though. Fucking destroyed. Is that full cover? No, that's half cover, okay. We're also right, okay, much better start. Hey brother, by any chance? Hey, maybe not. Killed his mate. Oh, you picked the wrong fight, bud. Got one HP. Alright, well, let me. Leave your skull in. Or miss, that's fine too. Oh, I've got the freeze. Sick. I wonder if that actually keeps him frozen or not. Um, I'll move up here. I'm taking your finger Okay, so he's not. Maybe it's just like reduce AP or something. Um, one of those. And you pop a cap in his ass. Days work. Uh, your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up grants them extra con and skill points to spend on upgrading their skills at later levels. They'll also. Gain additional tribute points to upgrade your skills. Use K or left click on the inventory button and then go to the skills tab. Tick. Upgrading skills. Leveling up rewards each character with skill points that can be spent to upgrade their existing skills or learn new ones. It only costs a single skill point to increase the skill early on, but this cost goes up at higher levels. Upgrade skill by left clicking on the one you want to increase. Pretty much the same system as before, but not as... Um, Right, um, three skill points, definitely going to up that I think, and then we could go, it's tempting, has his small arms though, lock picking. I'll go lock picking. Yeah. Um, that's fine. How many is, uh, do you want to, uh, yeah. I don't have a perk, but what about you? I should modify armor, granting increased protection and additional benefits. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about this just yet, because we don't actually have any armor mods just yet. We will up both big guns and melee combat for more hit chance. Uh, do I want anything else? Hmm. I wonder if they still have the rogue mechanic that you need leadership for. Oh, that'd be a little bit annoying. Um, let's go. Anything that makes me tankier. Don't think so.
Ähm... boys. Let me loot everything. Polaroid photo. Uh, romancing the ghost. Staring paranormal romance about one woman and her ectoplasmic paramour. Bikes. Casio watch. Stylish, but it's long stopped working. Uh, mangler. Point, shoot, duck. It's a rocket launcher. Failed requirement penalty. Minus 100% crit chance, minus 100% strike rate. So if you're not proficient with it, you can't get strike rate at all. And a rocket, okay. Rockets pack a powerful blast, just be sure you have something that can propel it far enough away from you. Makes sense. Work on some scrap. One more dudes to loot. Veteran Ranger Star. The Ranger badge is a sign of hope in troubled times. Let me go some money. You're all looted, right? You're on the floor. You're in a thing. Take the ammo. There's another ranger from your convoy. She appears to have survived the ambush, only to be beaten, sliced open, and shot in the head. Well then. Not very nice. Damn, look at all that stuff. Need to loot you. Two med packs. Dick. Weapon crate over there. Major Prasad's breath steams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. First aid one. It's clear to you she's in shock. It's incredible. She's still conscious. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? One, but she's fucking gone AWOL. Uh, what happened to you? I got jumped by more of these fucks as I was oh, sneaking up here. I got them all, but the last one got me with a skin and knife before I finished him. But I, I asked you a question, Rangers. Did anyone else make it? Not enough of us left. The mission is over. No, as long as any of us. We're alive. We can still complete the mission. Now. Putting her teeth, she fumbles her knapsack. I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. We need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that. And the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. How secret? Who else knows about them? Uh, only me. Uh, got them from... Got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an... Sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. So Angela is still alive. Who's Angela Death? Part of the Ranger squad that took down Base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but but she found her way home. I can't can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. Uh just how bad do you think your wounds are, Major? Rip Titan's on her side, holding her guts in, but she doesn't look down. It doesn't matter how bad my wounds are. We can't stay here. First aid one, euthanize her. This will help. You may feel a little drowsy. Fuck. Oh. to help her up. As you pull her up, her shaky smile becomes an agonized grimace. You look down, her intestines have slumped out of her, tumbling, tumbling to the snow. <gasps> And push to the ground, dead. Ah! Ah! 
Well, shit. What loot you got? Scout armor. Expert pipes. Small silver roaches, a collection of pipes. The inscription on the back reads, awarded to LK for musical excellence. Scout pants. Leg armor. More combat speed and more armor. Honest ballistic protection, but more importantly, you won't slip on the ice. Army rifle, sturdy battle rifle, known for its reliability and stopping power, and then some ammo. Okay. Well, don't mind if I do these. Uh, and then you can have this. Um, hmm, okay. What's in the box? And a rocket. Major Tomcat. Who the fuck are you? Deception 1. Yes. You get close, you see the cat has a dog tag rather than a collar, which is embossed with the name Tom. Come on, catch. We'll catch you. Carefully lines up to jump into your arms and then... He's back down. Oh, okay. Mush over here. Drug stash. Ditter. Quick slot. I'm suspicious. Syringe... Suspicious syringe of red liquid. No dark orange, bright red. Fuck it, it's red orange. No, dark orange, bright red. Fuck it, it's red orange. Yeah. Use it. Use to feel like you can kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Gain plus 25% evasion for 36 turns, but suffer minus 10 evasion for 720 turns afterwards. On success, applies twitch, removes fried. Brain candy. It's called bitter. Syringe with some eerie green liquid. May or may not be literal liquid candy or liquid brains. Claims to improve your intellect. Used to feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Gain plus 5 perception and 15% strike charge rate for 36 turns. Suffer minus 10% evasion for 720 turns afterwards. By smarts, removes fried. Okay, well. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Unless they make you touch the sky. Brilliant. Um, what we going over here? Hey, Jerry, little brother, how goes that daily use of blood? You dry goats, them hotlanders yet? Erastus, J -J -J Jerry's dead. They killed him, gunned him down like a dog. What? No, no. If I ever catch who did this, there. One of them dead! You hear me? My brother will be avenged! Okay, but keep telling yourself that. Oh, med hypos, nice. The fuck is that? But I want it. Glass Nux, brawling weapon, intimidating, but the shards stink like old beer. Requirement penalty. Again. I didn't go with Brawler this time because last time it started off kind of shit. Well, it does also warn you in this that it starts off shit. Wait, can I use this? I guess not. Just a load screen. But um, yeah, maybe on a different character we'll make a, a Brawler build. Give him the old stabby stabby. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriarch. Diligent Joe. Two. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. 
that there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Oh yeah, I do. My hammer. Uh, you can have the No, don't mind if we do. Be my guest. <laughs> well done. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys. And maybe, before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Um, what we want is to complete our vengeance on the Dorseys, but we won't say no to your help. Vengeance is fine, honorable even. Just don't forget that your primary reason for being here is to save my nation. That's how Arizona gets what it needs. And you get that by my by me killing the Dorseys, so. No. <sighs> Introductions. My name hammer. is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Oh, I ran into a wall. I didn't yes, Joe. Come here, you sweet Pardon. little bastard. Patriarch, it's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. What's up, Darren? Thank you for the tier 1 resub. 12 months. Thank you, my dude. What the frick? Yep, Wasteland 3 came out, well, for us, at 1 o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, we started early. We're an hour and 45 minutes in, bearing in mind about an hour of that is character customization. So, yeah, here we are. Also, because I know you were a fan of the series, um, this one's co op. Throwing that out there. Uh, who are these boys? Adamant. Hello. Okay. Diligent Joe is the dude we just fucking uh, executed. Nods at me. Hello, mm. Diligent Joe. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Edit. Hold weather-worn pedestal. The inscription is fading and illegible. Guess we're going in. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Sergei Gretzky, Marshal Kwan. Hello. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here's Sergei Gretzky. Is he great? Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. What are the Dorsey's after? The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Go kill them then. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. I thought this was your base. Um, so this place is ours now? Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the Patriarch. 
Dick. We can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet. Yep, you're not wrong. Um, right. Anything worth having? Go through there. Wait, can I go through there? Oh, no, I can't. Um, okay. I'll pick lock this. Pick lock that. The front door, I guess. Service or robot. Speak to you. Warning to you, intruder. This is a secure government facility. You commit trespassing against. Uh, give authorization or you will be pacified. Base has been out of service for decades. Have you been on guard this entire time? Oops, our mistake, we're going our way. Not very nice. That enemy has armor, which means that it can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all weapons have a penetration stat. If your weapon's penetration is equal to or greater than your enemy's armor, your well, your weapon will deal full damage. Okay. If your weapon's penetration is less than the target's armor, you'll do a proportionate amount of damage, but no more than 80%. For example, it's penetration 15 versus armor 10 is 100% damage. Penetration 5 versus armor 10 is 50% damage. Penetration 9 versus armor is 80% damage. Okay. Makes sense. Where's... I guess I'll just start cracking. Oh wait, I can do this now. Uh, charge up with this ability with each successful attack, leap up and slam the ground, sending out a stunning shockwave around you. That is how it's done. That worked. Okay, um... Twisted hydraulic. Melted capacitor. Crushed heat sink. Heat sink. Combat analysis processor. Okay. Uh... That's that, I guess, yeah. There's a new um, strike system, so each weapon has its own like special ability, and the more successful hits you get, it builds it up, and then when you have it, you can do that, and it does special things. Much exciting. How the fuck do I turn this alarm off? Radio stands it. This thing. Here, more robots. The terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command's identity. It replies, command empty, designate new command. Uh, install yourself as command. Camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen, line by line. Command recognized, security alert cancelled. I am the commander now. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. <clears throat> the reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Of course you do. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. The big bad, you're calling it now? Maybe. Uh, you're looking for protection when they attacked. Uh, you're asking us to become assassins. Uh, uh, protection when they... Protection? You think I need protection? Stop trying to be smart and listen. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. 
They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. In a body bag. When I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. Boring. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? What if taking your kids alive is impossible? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. You like the orange suit? Oh, and this dude. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Uh... Need more background on your kids before we go after them. What do you want to know? I think you must have plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? What should we know about victory? What kind of man is valor? Tell us about liberty. Thanks for your info. Okay. Uh, why us? Divided loyalty. That's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. What should we know about victory? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. Guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. And I'm not allowed to kill him? Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Recruits. There were other survivors from our convoy. That's great news. Better not hurt those rangers. And if he does, you're still bringing him home alive no matter what. Remember? See about that. What kind of man is Valor? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. He seems not like an asshole, but not too bad. Like, I can understand not necessarily killing him. Uh, Valor isn't dangerous? No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed. And Denver's a death trap. Tell us about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. Uh, you're expecting her to try to usurp you? <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. 
Thanks for the info. We'll do our best with them. But that means I'll probably you kill better. them. Anything else? Um... A few things we'd like to ask about the Dorseys and the ambush. Uh huh. Who are the Dorseys? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but <sighs> mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Uh, do you think Vic, Val, or Liberty were behind the attack on our convoy? Possibly, but I know the Dorseys from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. Uh, why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. But I wonder what happens if you manage to bring some of the rangers back from the starting area. Alright, enough about the Dorseys. Good. What else do you need? Uh, that'll be it. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Dorseys, it will be a pleasure. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. No promises. All right, let's move out. And the level up. Well, the armor and weapons and stuff looks so much cooler than the previous game. This dude, he's like a fucking Buzz Lightyear power armor dude. Yeah. Hmm. You have a new mission to visit. To view its details, use J to open the mission log. There it is. Mission types. Primary missions progress the main story. Second, secondary missions are optional side quests. You've just received the primary mission Cornered Rats, so your next step should be paying a visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, okay. Zealot, the Psychopath, and the Traitor. Talk to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay, uh, didn't we get a level up? Wrong button. Uh, inventory, what is the inventory screen? From here you'll be able to see all your items you're carrying. View this, uh, yeah, okay. Item option, you can right click any of them. Yeah. Any weapon can be broken down to spare parts by field stripping it. If you have a very low barter skill, you can sometimes get a better price from merchants for the parts than the weapon itself. With the scrounger's touch bug, under touch perk, field stripping also has a chance to grant weapon mods. Okay. Uh, starting at level 3, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straighter, or hit harder? There's an attribute for that. Okay. Oh. I'll make him tankier. Reasonable. Pick. Uh, confirm. Skills. Three points. Um. Else we want to look at. What heavy weapons and blunt weapons? General skills. Explosives could be good. One in explosives and uh, more combat. Anymore? Well, or well, what? Okay. This. Oh, so this is the perks page, right? 
These are the non-skill perks. So we have plus one quick slot. Um, eat bullets for breakfast, so plus two armor. Take care of your body, and your body will take care of you. Plus 35 con. Frequent reflexes. Sometimes you feel like you can almost see things before they happen. Plus 5% evasion. After a few bumps and bruises, you stop feeling the pain so much. So plus 10% crit resistance. You want my input? Um, if you're talking about my thoughts on the game so far, I'm really liking it. I like the fact that they've simplified a lot of the skills and mechanics down. Not too much, but enough to make it so you're not pumping two different stats that should essentially be the same thing. Um, everything seems cleaner, clearer, um, more interesting. Multiplayer. So, considering we're only two hours in, I'm enjoying it. It's fun. But, a lot more to see. Bleeding Strike. You know which blood vessels run close to the skin? Open your enemy up. Now, time is on your side. Melee combat ability. An aggressive bladed attack that deals an extra 100% damage and inflicts bleeding, but has 20% hit chance. Targets that are burning receive plus 200% damage. I scroll that down. There we go. But on success applies bleeding. So how do I use these? Aggressive bladed attack. I wonder if you have to use a bladed weapon for that to proc though, because you're using blunt. You knock the wind out of a guy, it doesn't matter what kind of fancy gun he's packing. Focus blunt attack that stuns the target enemy but has 15, negative 15% chance to hit. Frozen enemies take an extra 100% damage. Damage is 100% of weapon damage. On success applies stunned. Interesting. Okay. Can't like select it or anything, so I guess it just procs. What's this? Damage is the best opening position and you'll come out alive. Gain 0.5 combat speed on the first turn of your combat while using big guns. Okay, nice. Um map wise, we're in the war room. Heck. We'll wander around and see what we can find. This. Terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. All seems normal. And the security systems. Status reports indicate all is normal at the moment. An option displaying old security alerts shows a number so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. Um, <clears throat> read the old security logs. Log data backed up to archive room server. Status reports indicate all is normal at the moment. Uh, okay, yeah. So, boy. Um... Else? Oh, a bunch of boxes. We like the boxes. Um, the bunker buster, heavy machine gun. Appears neglected and unreliable at first glance and every other glance after. So at least from what I've seen so far, it doesn't look like there's a jam chance anymore, which is really nice. Exo knee, armor mod, leg armor. External frame provides assistance power to leg extension, reducing the exertion needed for movement. Plus one armor and combat speed. Nice. In the wasteland, you'll find both weapon and armor mods installing a mod will improve any equipment it's attached to, but once installed, they cannot be removed. To install a mod, one of your squad members must have the necessary weapon modding or armor modding skill level. Okay. To install a weapon or mod, or armor mod, select the weapon or armor you want to upgrade and choose the modify option under it. Different mods require different armor or weapon modding skill levels. The better the mod, the harder it is to install. Makes sense. Quick lock this. I do two things at once now. I can. Money and an old picture. What was in here? Can you do it? Or is it like bugged down now? Let me in it! Fuck. Yeah, I probably fucked it up. Um, we'll see if a reload fixes that in a minute. Uh, shotgun shells, moldy sock, all that goodness. We lock this one. Hands of Aquanet. No bad hair, just bad air. This yet? More radio static. Okay. Boom, this is still not going to work. Dance. Now there's so many things in here. Uh, plus two armor, plus three armor. Plus 
four armor requires three strength. No artistry went into this massive suit, just layers and layers of welded scrap metal. It's heavy and ugly, but it feels safe inside. Fuck yeah, dude, I'll take that. Um, alright, let's quickly throw these around. So what's this do? Plus three armor? And that's plus one and zero point two. Um Armor and War Armor. Very shiny. Okay, um, what about you? Get those. Um, three, all that, okay. Can I strip this? The fire. Um, <clears throat> but these are all like the pre-order stuff it seems. I wonder if you get these every run or whether you have to like store them somewhere to make use of them. Inter interesting to see if there's a storage locker like there was in the first one. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got them. All right, well I'm exploring. Go away. And recruiting, that kind of thing. Fuck off! I'm exploring. The big door. Oh, there's dollars in here. A razor bag. Okay. Um, interesting. I'll get blocked. Crit though. Get out of my base. This is my base. Get an ambush. Am I also ambush? No, okay. I'll just uh, hang out here. Poison spine. Oh. Taking the shot. Come on, him! Exploded, okay. Uh, Wolverine fur. Right? My dinner is down. Crap. Um, is there anything else in here? A box. Check out the big thing in a minute, because I'm scared. Creepy dolls! You found a creepy doll! Creepy dolls are dolls that are creepy, but they also grant powerful party-wide bonuses. Simply collecting them will benefit you for the rest of the game. The archive. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. Instead, find them as well as any discovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive menu. This is your archive menu by selecting it in the pause menu. The Radical Rachel. She'd like to see the whole world burn. Afterwards, it's her own turn. Advanced bonus to all squad members. Explosive damage bonus. Plus 5%. That's fucking terrifying, but okay. Okily dokily. Um. Thing over there. Alright, I'm gonna quickly use the restroom and go get my food and then we'll continue. BRB chat.
Right, we're back. Got my food. I'm a happy boy. Uh, what the fuck's under this? Fallen billboard. Who put it here? Power button on the machine resists your press. Seemingly rusted in place, it makes a sandy crunch as, it's fin as it finally gives way. Green comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure. Corruption detected across multiple sectors. Initiating... Typo. Uh, initiating automated repair operations. Recovery sample complete. You recovered logs. Uh, read the old security logs. Filtering tools help you call the routine and wholly corrupted reports. You may need a computer expert to access some of the files. That's a lot of files. So, 4th of the 7th. Uh, 1000. Port 1. Classified information purge initiated. Port 2. Erasure complete. Command cleared for the autonomous security system activating in T minus 30 minutes. Port 3. Intrusive movement detected on our outer perimeter. Monitoring. Port 4. Intruders retreated without engagement. Monitoring. Okay, so 26th of the 5th, 2009. Port 15. Intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter. Monitoring. Port 16. Quadrupedal creature identified as non hostile. Monitoring. Deprioritized. Port 25. Creature remains. Port 88. Creature departs. Incidents monitored without engagement. 1846. Incidents involving security responses. 5. 22nd of the 1st, 2010. Port 98. Intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter. Monitoring. Port 99. Bipedal creature approaches facility deploying servitors. Port 100. Intruber pacified. Incidents monitored without engagement. 2008. Incidents involving security response. 9. Port 100A. Automated amendment. Intention was for intruder. Logging technological review request with information technology. RE. Report 100. Uh, okay. Wow, quite a jump ahead. You've got 9 years, 1 year, 58 years later. 28th, the 11th, 1068. Port 750, Intruder 32 returns to War Room. Starts fire for Intruders 30, 31, 33. Intruder 34 is providing them with a meal. Logging requisition request for additional servitors. Following abduction of core servitors 005 to 10, or 5 to 10 by Intruder 11. Uh, this request has been logged 1500 time priority elevated. Port 751. Attempting to wake remaining servitors. Make attempt resulted in. A wake attempt resulted in failure. Incidents monitored without engagement. Excuse me. 7242. Incidents revo involving security response. 15. Incidents with failed security responses. 1. Incidents with inability to respond. 4000. Port 755, Intruder 34 now classified as deceased. Uh, 26th of the 8th, 2102, 2102. Orb, report uh, 1, system wake up complete. Uh, ac oh, accessing database, no new information since catastrophic failure reported at 1606-271-623. Port 2, intruders 6973 logged in war room, servitors non responding to wake up instruction monitoring. Port 57, intruder 71 has fully repaired monitoring systems, intruder 69 has gained access to monitoring systems. Port 66, self diagnostic complete, servitors 103, 22, 616 present, present but unresponsive, primary power unresponsive, secondary power 20%, primary processing reports all good. Why did the machine go illiterate? I don't really know. Port 685. Intrusive movement detected at perimeter. Intruder 159 logged and approaching. Port 686. Intruder 158 detects. Intruder 159 and returns to barracks. Various intruders seem perturbed and barricaded. Barricade door to barracks. Port 690. Intruder 159 retreats after accessing war room and armory. Armory. Uh, servitors remain unresponsive. Responsive. Uh, report 701, intruder 156 departs barracks and enters, departs barracks, enters brig, 
Access this computer terminal. Horrible intruders. Port 702. Intruder 156 was has initiated a generator restart. Power coming online. Servitors waking. Red alert. That's the thing. You recovered logs. Uh, examine personal logs. There are fewer logs than you'd expect for a base of this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that are legible. Um, personal log, Colonel Fourchette, 22nd of March, 1998. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep my men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We'll need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. We need nerd stuff. Alrighty. Uh, what's this? Wheels car. This plastic car dreams of open road. Got some cash. Cash and a Hot Wheels car. Can I get up here? Oh, I can. Where are you going? Stop it. Bullets. What if I do? Okay. Um. Leave here. This room, we also have this room. Old food. Food on these tables is cold and partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled mid meal. Be able to repair toasters to fix that. Uh, presuming we'll clear this up at some point. Or at least I hope we do, because. Hello, refugee. Get refugee, you refuge. You are the guys that are eating, I guess. Please, don't shoot. The woman is gaunt, her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch with fear and mistrust. Who, who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the Rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, uh, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please. Will you let us stay? Oh, I need staff members. The other soldiers wouldn't want us around, I know. It's not that we want to cause trouble for you. Few of us might be able to earn our keep. We're not trained fighters, but we can defend ourselves with a knife or a club. She glances hopefully at her comrades, all of whom are gaunt, are as gaunt and weather beaten as she is. Um, where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here, for any of us. You set off the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Um, can you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed, and more are always coming. Oh. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We're liked. Look at that. We won't be any trouble, <laughs> I promise, and and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. I'm afraid you will. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. You find him hiding out somewhere. You send him back to us. Oh. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Yeah, get tidying up. This. 
Yeah, you can go. Oh, nice. Take it. Sure was kind of you to let us stay. I'm sure it was. I'm the best. That's why. These bunks, damn, dude. Soldier's note: A well-preserved tape from right after the war, containing a record, rec a recording, recording from Peterson Air Force Guard. Fuck are you. Body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and he's been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. First aid three, what? Um, give the body a cursory glance. The limbs of the body are contorted and his face is locked in a grimace of pain, but you can't definitively establish a cause of death. Oh shit. What is that noise? Break master key for when you want to mingle with some lawbreakers. Hey, who the hell are you? Prisoner. Waving at you through the bars of a cell is a pale, rail thin man with matted hair and fraying faded clothes. He gives you a lazy and glassy eyed grin. Hey dudes, hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? The Rangers is going to be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? Hmm. Rangers help people. We're to help. We're here to help Colorado. That's cool. Helping's good. I like. It. Uh, are there, like, more of you here? What questions? How about some answers? Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. Name. My name? Uh, yeah, ah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick, Booger, Dickens, Lyle? Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I couldn't have been here for a while. Ow, and who's been feeding you? Uh... Have you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Um, why are you in there? Because, uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> uh, how have you survived? No, man, I, uh, I got...
got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom grow there, man. <laughs> so I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. You're living off of all water and mushrooms. Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. That's terrifying. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Tell us about any of the groups that lived here before us. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda... Kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Um, I mean by a little fuzzy. You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I eat a lot of mushrooms. I can't always remember things that happened in the, uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, and there was, um, there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and, uh, the bloody screamers, and, uh, and the metal fellers, and the really white guy, and the owl, uh, the owl face. Oh, and the six wee men and the lion. What do you want about? But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first and, uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> now tell us about the smiling woman. Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. Um, tell us about the tired eyes lady. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for the company, you know? About that guy. Oh man, that's uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here, all nervous and uh, freaked out, and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine, and he falls down, and then all these. Uh, 
sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? <clears throat> so he's the one that tripped the alarm. Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came in. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, 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 okay. Cool. Not what we were asking, why were you put in here? Oh man, didn't you like my joke? Oh. Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head. When I woke up, um, I I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like seriously. Hmm. Okay. Um. What happened with this dead refugee? Oh, I uh, didn't. Uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead. And yeah. Then, then after oh, yeah. a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came it's in, cool man. But uh, hey, so uh, we've um, we've been chatting for a bit, gotten to know, uh, gotten to know each other a little, right? I've been stuck in here for um, at least a lot of years. And it would be, uh, it would be much nicer if I, um, wasn't. Do you, um, do you think you could maybe do me a solid and, uh, like, find a way to get me out of here? Hmm. See what we can do. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure appreciate it. So, uh, so long. The dog guy. Oh, not displays information about the base's systems. Everything appears normal for the moment. Check recent activity logs for this terminal. Come to the logs, culling ancient messages and routine system notifications until you have a list of recent activations. OS, wake initiated, wake complete, credentials rejected, credentials accepted, login, admin, password, admin. OS, loading def default admin operations, backup generator, initialized. <clears throat> Automated security lockdown initiated, login required, credentials rejected. Uh, credentials rejected, OS, station looking out. User due to multiple failed login attempts. Terminal displays information about the basic systems. Everything appears normal for the moment. Yeah. The squad skills aren't high enough. Sometimes the brute force will still work. To break down a door, smack a misbehaving computer, or forcefully shut down a power generator, use the attack option in the quick bar, or press left control. Certain objects such as vault doors or icy walls may require specific damage types to damage. Left control, yeah. Oh. Okay. What is this? Android photo. Um. I don't know if letting you out is such a good idea, but I guess we could always save it and then have a look. Oh yay! Thank God. Uh... Thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. <laughs> Creepy bastard. Avery smelling mushroom. A few caps and sm stems mashed into a ball found in the Ranger HQ brig. Kind of smells like jerky. Could be harmless, could be toxic. Right and see. On success, removes bleeding, removes poison, removes drugs. Sweet smelling mushroom. About half a mushroom found in the Ranger HQ break it has a syrupy sweet smell. Could be harmless, could be toxic. Leave it alone for now. Guess we'll check the other side. Let's 
Still need to talk to you, Rangers. Yeah, in a minute. Shut up. I'm exploring. Don't ruin it. Oh, fuck. Rusted slicer dicer. Seems like a horrendous idea. The enormous spider like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. It's casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Examine the robot. You recognize it, it as a slicer dicer, a pre apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. On closer inspection, you note that some of the bullet holes have been patched and several of the legs show signs of recent welding. While the dicer's main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant, it's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. But we don't have the points to do that just yet. Why are you dead? The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an, un at an unnatural angle, judging by the smell she's been here a while. I'm in the corpse. The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire and bits of circuit boards. Looks like this wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. I'll leave her alone. Uh, sure, we can pick lock the truck. Might be a bad idea, but we'll do it anyway. Hey, check it. Collection of simple mechanical parts and tools used to repair vehicles and robots. Nice. Um, what else is going on in here? Another truck. Also open this. Box. There's these bears left a stain on our memories. Creepy. Mount capacitor, a bunch of other stuff. ED matrix. Um, okay. With that, we have a locker. We can also access. Automated chauffeur. Pre war advertisement for some kind of robot driver. And uh, tactical grip weapon mod. Little plastic nubs actually do it make do make it easier to hold your weapon. Alright, chassis. Lightweight aluminium chassis, though a little banged up, it looks reusable. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics. 21st century solutions for the problems of today. Hmm. Noise displaying information about the basic systems. All seems normal right now. Um, okay. Uh, recall service elevator platform. Quest issued, please wait. Loud grinding emanates from the huge trap door near the garage's entrance. The smell of rusty metal sparking fills the room. Mechanical failure reports that the servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Examine the most recent activity logs. Most of the logs appear to have been destroyed in a giant server wipe that occurred decades ago. The terminal also has controls for some nearby vehicle lifts, but currently indicates they are all unresponsive. I fit. You stay there. Another door out and about, yeah. Question, can I close this door again? It's not. Not that it really matters right now. Uh, okay, let's, whoops. This room. Bunch of dead dudes. <clears throat> this desiccated husk of a <coughs> excuse me. Very chat. 
This skeleton husk of a man is a little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. That's for a cause of death. Looks like a simple case of starvation and dehydration, but the corpse's ankles and wrists show some kind of... There is some scarring as if he was chained up for a while. This female corpse is bloated and putrefied. One of her arms is entirely missing. Black ichor oozes from her swollen torso. Death. But the missing arm had nothing to do with the woman's demise. It had been expertly removed and stitched up long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. Notice the same scarring on her ankles and wrists as the other corpses, most likely from manacles. Torn skin suggests that they were frequently removed. Frequently moved, rather. Um... Okay, got this one. Leathery corpse is missing several of his digits and facial features. That's for cause of death. Like exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities, scarring indicates that this may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. You also notice the same scarring on his ankles and wrists as on the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests they were frequently moved. Um, boot you and then... Flavor's note. Lord, but you found this note under a body in Ranger HQ. It is heavily creased and stained with the blood of its previous owner. There's a pile of corpses in this corner. Causes of death. People died in a variety of ways. Most of them violent. Bullet holes in one, a crushed skull on another, a cutthroat on a third. They all have the same scarring on their ankles and wrists as the other corpses. Looks like these people were trafficked by slavers. So, can I... Uh... These patriarchs, marshals, fame in general. Is there? Let's see, uh, like and stuff. They don't even read this. Directions to Major Vera Prasad. Take command of convoy designated for Team November and cross the Rocky Mountains to the city of Colorado Springs. Make contact with Sal Buchanan, aka the Patriarch. Establish base of operations in Colorado Springs. Recruit and train additional personnel as needed. Preserve the life and position of the Patriarch at all costs. Do whatever is necessary to secure the aid promised to the Desert Rangers. Locate Colonel Angela Death and her advance team. Advance team is deceased. Collect bodies for burial if alive. Ascertain reasons for loss of communication. Disciplining action is authorized at your discretion. In the event of your death or incapacitation, these orders shall apply to the senior surviving member of the expedition. Lady Woodson, Commanding General, Desert Rangers. Um, okay. They're a... Archive? Uh, I don't want tutorials. Oh, okay. Right. <clears throat> that goes underground. Let's check over here real quick. Oh, disarm explosive. Well. So I wasn't getting past that. Um, crash. Loot. I guess this is the armory. Very poorly stocked one. Uh, we can pick the lock from the door. From the computer. Terminal is displaying information about the basic systems. All seem, systems seem normal. Check recent activity logs. Any log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. This terminal is displaying information about these base systems. All seems normal, right? Okay, seems fine. You open the door. Then open the door. Out of... Don't be out of range. Open the damn door. Hey, Pippin. Watch out. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. You mother... <laughs> A medic. Okay, I'm a bit on fire. Don't mind that. It's fine. He's fine. He's also healing. Can you stop being on fire now? Please. Back to 
to the hunt. Yo, what's up, Yeti? Um, we're a bit, a bit on fire. Can we, we done being on fire now? He is. Uh. Back to the hunt. Okay. Well, good to know my own fucking headquarters is rigged to explode. Nice. Up, Conway. <clears throat> Wolf, saving this game for a playthrough myself, but I did want to hang for She Devil's Raid. No worries, my dude. I completely understand you're holding off. Uh, thank you for chilling and hanging anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, what's in the basement? Hot picking impossible. Hmm. How do I wait? Can I, can I do do? Have an awesome stream. Thank you, Conway. Take it easy, my dude. Thank you for the follow. Right, um, I guess we'll talk to this dude, because we've explored it all. Still need to talk Keep to eating you, my chicken. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Greatsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Speak to Sergeant Greatsky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. The other two slots may be filled by companions, such as Marshal Quan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help out all the same. You'll find plenty of companions on your journey throughout the Colorado. Okay. Um... Uh, d d d d uh, before we get to all that, we've got some questions. Of course. Ask away. Uh, can you and Quan tell us more about yourselves? While I eat my chicken. Why can't I just press space? Uh, well... <laughs> well Sergei won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning, and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergei? 75. Tops. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs, or the people that live there, better than dashing Darius Kwan. You're too kind, Sergey. Volunteered for this? Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the marshals. And retirement was driving me stir-crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel, I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. Hey. Both seem awfully eager to help a group of unknown outsiders. Why the hell are you really here? It's probably they were told to. It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so here I am. Good to know. And I am truly sick of retirement. But, yeah, I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. Okie dokie. So you're spies. Let's say liaisons. The Patriarch wants you to succeed, and he knows it's not going to be easy. You're strangers in a strange land. You don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. Who hates who? Where the bodies are buried. And ultimately, I don't care. That's where we come in. We're here to make sure you don't make too many rookie mistakes. Step on the wrong toes. And yeah, we're supposed to report back to the Patriarch about how you're doing. But you didn't really expect to be left completely to your own devices, did you? <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Sorry, chat. I'm trying to eat my food at the same time. What was the deal with the alarms and the robots? I'm not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. We were going to get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Well, considering there's 10 ton of fucking squatters in my headquarters. Um. How long has this place been abandoned? Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe 10 years back. Before that, all kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. And that could be what set off the alarms. How is the deluge? Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire. Because, well, that's what it was. Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. <clears throat> okay. Um, what was he saying about combat AI? Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. What? Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. What? Yes, please. That's all we've okay. got. Okay. What's next? Uh... Care about your recruits right now. Well, I'll take a look. My at advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything, so pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. Well, duh. Play and an RPG? you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. The plan. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Uh, so I could buy a new boy. Roots. All of these boys. So we've got Axel, Banshee, Bison, Bill, Black Eye, Betty, Butterfly, Crash, Professor Higgs, Preacher, Ice, Doc Nails, Devlin, Danny Smiles, Sasquatch, Shellshock, Thunder, Wolf, Deuce. And you can make another uh, custom character. Okay, so you can make more customs, which is interesting. Oh, quite like that. Um, we are going to leave that for now, though. Don't let me leave. I'm ready. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. What I'm going to do? Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Okay. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Um... Not interested in that. We want to go after these dudes. Uh, surveying the base sounds good. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. I mean, I've already explored the inside. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. <clears throat> if you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the Ooh. base. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Okay, thanks for the info. Uh, one sec. For fuck's sake, what? Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Mm, what do you offer? Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Um... Oh. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. Companions, you've recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. Unlike the rangers, you create companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave you high and dry. Okay. 
Now, after six characters in your squad, up to four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving at least two spots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. Oh, we'll keep you for now. Where is... Why are you over here? Why are you so slow? Um, let's go out and check outside. Now. I'm post. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Greetings, Rangers. This pretty paint science is Colorado Springs with an arrow pointing south. All right, well, I'm exploring. Leave me alone. Uh, what is this? Yeah. We have another building. Rabbit. <laughs> Apparently, that's what rabbits sound like. Um, what the fuck is this? Go in here? Oh, I can. Oh. Got like a guard post and stuff. Yes. Shorted control chip. Um, wrap and turret chassis. Opens the oaks. Bullets, I don't like it. Uh, okay. I'm wandering over here. You got a level up that I forgot to apply. Oh, she does. Shit. Um, true points. Hit chance, perception, range damage bonus. Illusions. Um. Oh, awareness. <coughs> uh, three points. Uh, do we want anything else? Um, you're good with automatic weapons. You've got kiss ass because you're a tall and sneaky shit. That's it. Okay. Well. Actually, really close to another level up. Um, nation of luck, awareness, strength, speed, charisma. Okay. So he's a talky talky dude. That I couldn't give a shit about. Um, what's. There's a doggo. Oof. A doggo? I pet the doggo? Question. Eyeball chicken. Alright, we'll come back to that in a minute because. I have no idea what's happening. Bunch of doggos. Uh, crushed heat sink, lighter, another tank grip, glance plates, armor mod for helmet armor. On armor crit resistance. Nice. By tar. This. Hydraulic, or scrap, and another chassis. Why the fuck is there a robot? Eyeball chicken. Metal plates, electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up to, looks up at you. A sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Fuck. Sorry, chicken. Um, right, we will go have one more conversation, despite me not really wanting to. What is this? Hello. A hole to dig. Um, and then... Bone bones. Already got some things. Photo. Um, <clears throat> and then... Carry on. Back to... Radio boy. But first, I'm going to quickly take my plate downstairs, so I'll be back, chat.
Yo, we back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. Right. Look at this boy. Gonzalez seems at home behind his radio equipment. He salutes crisply as you approach. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. Mine now. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's a rest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Damn straight it is. And da 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 da. Hey, radio equipment. What do you think about the Patreon? So many. Okay, um, just about the radio equipment. The finest setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? This is the only setup in Colorado able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands, up to the HF band. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. The basic controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. Okay, what do you think about the Patreon? I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Is Colorado perfect? No, but it's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. Good about being part of the Rangers. Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the marshals. I felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Proud to be a ranger now. Good man. <clears throat> Don't fuck up. Or I'll shoot you. Um, it's, Can you tell us again what it is you do? No. You installed our car, car AI. Are you an expert? Oh, I'm not. It just turns out artificial intelligence isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. Easy enough to install, it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. My faith in you is do decreasing at an alarming rate. Bye. Anytime. I'm gonna play with the radio. Play with the radio again. Okay, I'm done. Uh, fuck it, let's go. Um, so where the fuck? Can I go in here as well? More loot. Not much stuff to find and play with. 
I love it. I love it, I do. <clears throat> you bellend. Rat egg helmet. Uh, the dome is so tough you almost don't mind the claustrophobic space, the restricted vision, or the implacable smell. By a strength, it gives you four armor. Rad tech armor plus six strength. DARPA's mandate was to create the ultimate hazardous environment suit. They succeeded little knowing that the suits would become powerhouses of the 22nd century battlefield. Armor. Merc helmet. It always on a face and a mask offer little in the way of protection, but are invaluable considering Colorado weather. Alright, sick. Lost half my HP to that, you bastards. Um, this gives you plus four. This gives us plus six. We want plus four hat. A diver boy. Be a leggings? No. Okay. Um, that still e. That gives you so much. Oh. Mission luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, and charisma. Hmm. Um. Percent. Yeah. Fine. I don't want to give it to you, but I will. Uh, have you got three strength? I don't even know. Uh, yes. Wield. Uh, this. Cover up your face because you look dumb. Um. All right. Look at that. We look fucking sick already. Um, we could use a medic. Yeah, the fudge does this. Wait, 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 wait. Um, full house recruit personnel for the Ranger HQ, rig jailer, med bay doctor, armory quartermaster, a garage, garage mechanics. Um, they said that she might be able to help us with this. Talk to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Sick. Do you want to travel to downtown Colorado Springs? <laughs> Colorado Springs is experiencing an increasing problem with refugees fleeing the vicious warlords who dominate the Eastern Plains. Alright, I'll be your warlord. Fine. Boop, doop, doop. Come on, game, you can do it. You can do it. Basically done it. Come on. Go down, take a lower stance. Oh, okay, I guess. You are. And my UI is not visible. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> what else is it? What happened? Fucking Dorsey's. Fair enough. It's not fair. True. Million piece. Played you. Don't look like marshals. Do you work for the patriarch? Kind of. Why are you naked with masks and being crucified? Uh, we're rangers. We work for anyone who needs our help. Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I <laughs> say he's no killer. Okay, I'll hit him with the hammer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. Why? He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please. Maybe Watkins will listen to you. Uh, why was your son sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Who's your son? Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, 
My daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm gonna lose him too. Please, help my son. All right. If these are just prisoners, and fine. Marshal Enforcer, let's talk to you. This kid's going in the pillories next. This kid's going in the pillories next. No. I need to save him. Teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot. A, a lot on my mind. That was since you are about to be dead. What happened? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. <clears throat> What's your sentence? Magistrate tells me it's death. They're going to strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're going to let the cold do its work. It was a bit cruel. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid, but that'd be a lie. Why'd you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Mm, doesn't seem like the punishment fits the crime. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Hmm. Let's say we can free you. What's that worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. You have any useful skills? I'm used to hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun, either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Shakes his head. Uh, alright, let's... Talking to you. Let's go find... Magistrate. We ain't gonna bank for our lives! Shut up, you. This dour man looks at looks out at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face, and his thin lips press together in a hard Howdy, line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Why are you over there? Still colder than a well digger's ass. Marshal Quan, impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival, partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders. You'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Let me do it. What's with the pillories? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremity. Uh, have no other punishments For here. Some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Gestures towards the building behind him. Um, death by exposure seems harsh. I mean, no, I don't care about that. But. Proceed. Uh, Austin P says he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free him? 
His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Uh, not a bad kid, and he's all his mother has. Kill him, and you might as well kill her. Young for death, and surely you can offer him some mercy. What if the Rangers were to pay for his damage and assume guardianship over the boy? You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Uh, sure. Six money right to receive you and jots, jots a note and a battered ledger. He tucks the ledger back into his robe. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. Oh, if it's a pain, I'll feed him to the cyborg chicken. It'll be fine. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. That was easy. Uh, yo. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. Talk to the magistrate. He says he'll release you, but you'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life, and and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Good. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Now mercy on Watkins must be going Colorado. south. I thought the kid was a corpsicle for sure. Thanks, Rangers. Can't wait to get out of here. No great threat! No great threat! You Rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well. Death to the hundred stinking families. That's cute. Hey, refugee. Murderers! Doc Parker's helping the wounded with that He ain't turning anyone away. Hi, corpses. Bodies of Dorsey slain in the recent incursion were tossed haphazardly into this frozen fountain. Uh, you have a name. Let's talk to you. Mom? Mom? Oh, I... sorry. Never mind. A minute, can we talk to you? What? Why? What do you want? We're expecting your mother. Where is she? I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... we, uh... got separated. I... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but... I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping... <laughs> you got separated? There, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of the slavers. How did you escape? One of her men took me out of the cage to... to... I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. You need help? No, please. I just need you to go away. Please. Okay. Uh, bye. Murderers! And refugees have set up an impromptu shelters around the square, even with the city's heat. This must be freezing. Uh... We have all this area. That goes. Uh, people boy, Cassita. I hope you. How does it feel extra, now? Extra cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. New in town? Did you hear about what happened? The man is still in his teens. He carries numerous copies of a newspaper, the Colorado Patriot. Uh, da, 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 da. we hear there's been trouble. Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. Well, it took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. 
Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. You know about the Dorseys. Just what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. The thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. We're gonna find Sheriff Daisy. Oh, Marshall Station, right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Report the news? Yep. I work for the Colorado Patriot. Only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. Of course you do. Be careful. Might still be doors. The deluge of blood is coming for you all! <clears throat> you should Wesson, old jailer, martial enforcer, martial enforcer, deputy martial Flores. For you. Ah, oh, marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Who's you? Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Ruffians? I... <sighs> Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. Oh, they won't even speak to me. I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. Uh, I guess you have to wait until the sheriff we got an appointment. Um, Marshall's a bit overwhelmed at the moment. That may be. But my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. True. Uh, is there anyone here who think should get less consideration than you? I... I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Get it? Who are you anyway? My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys and... And I fear for their lives. There's more about the Hundred Families. We are the founding families of Colorado Springs. Descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the Patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Um, what exactly, what exactly is going on here? Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. Who are the Dorseys? No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. Really? Uh, we'll talk to the sheriff, see what we can do. Thank you, friends. One more voice urging her to action might be sufficient. Thank you. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. We should build some more watchtowers. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? Yep. We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Quan. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you tell us about the marshals? It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. What are you working on? Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. It was how to handle Sheriff Daisy. <laughs> Don't blink. 
Okay. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Uh, Daisy. These boys, anything I can potentially loot. Coffee makers, marshals must go through bunkers worth of coffee every day. Well, before I do that, who are you? I was a drunk. Uh, someone's sure having a hell of a party, huh? <laughs> Damn it. All that screaming and fireworks. You not, but I'm gonna try and open it anyway. Good cop, bad cop, and a swinging exposed light bulb. Classic. Nobody in here? Okay. My stuff now! Thanks. Uh. I'm... Nice. Or oh, Piglet. Yeah. All the goodies in that room. Alright, we'll go chat to this lady. I didn't loot you, I swear. The sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying blonde hair and a steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. <laughs> I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. Hey. Okay. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Make with the talky talky and then I hit him with the hammer. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, we're glad to help. And I'm glad to hear it. The job's easy enough if you like using bullets. Oh, yeah. Now, the Dorsey's hostages are from the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get them out of there alive, or I'll never hear the fucking end of it. And please, take young Miss Wesson with you. I need that girl out of my hair. In fact, I'm going to insist. I'm telling Lupinski not to let you into the garden without her. But don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Okie dokie. You spoke to Sheriff Daisy like you promised, strangers. Thank you. I... I heard her tell you to take me with you to the Garden of the Gods. So... When do we leave? Right now. Who's the God and the God? Sheriff Daisy didn't say. It's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. You know. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Uh... Da, 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 da. But as you said, you knew one in the game. Uh, is that true? She's making a joke. She knows very well that my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in this city. You may ask anyone. Everybody knows what I can do. I'll hold you to it. Have you killed anyone? I... No. But I have hunted. Yeah, you'll be fine. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Uh, hi then. At last. <coughs> Come on then. Neilius Dorsey lives. Stop! He'll kill you. Okie dokie. Um, what is up here? A kitty cat. 
Bunch of marshals on duty. Mm, duty. Why is there explosion marks on the floor? Am I going to run into a trap? The young guard's face is nervous, but determined he steps forward as you approach, holding his hand. I order up. the patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Uh, why is the gate closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Uh, what's through the gate? Rodmore Heights and the patriarch's palace. Andy feels his job does not include expansive descriptions. All right, fine. Good day. Wish you were friendly about it, not an asshole. Go, darn it, Martha. Why else would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. A scrawny old man with a shotgun. A f Hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, all right? It's quite the jacket you're wearing, love. Consarn it. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. The old man is shouting to the nearby shop and waving a shotgun around. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. And she notices you, an expression of relief crosses her face. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Uh, da, 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 da. Why don't you ask the marshals for help? They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Um, why don't you let us professionals handle this? Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? Shakes his head, then turns to you. If you do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Hell well, yeah. Go on, then. Ding dong. He good looking. Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! Well. Yeah. Get her in here, ready to fucking pop this dude. Oh, there's a dude there, I didn't even see him. Grab that boy. Combat started. Alright. What's up, bud? Crush. Um, Bill. And oneself. Fifty four on you, fifty six on you, sure. Why can't that guy just turn into a stain on the floor? Not enough AP? Why not? Why have you only got two AP? Fine. Thirty-eight on you. Is that a range?
up goes his head. Um, what have we got? Holy sock! Bunker buster with more rounds and that thing. Alrighty. Anything else that I need to see? What the fuck? Container? Mind me, just casually robbing the store. Four, five, pickpocket. Unfortunate. Okay. Um, I did it. You've got our gratitude, Rangers. Oh boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. Yes, she's down the road to the north. And here, a little token of our appreciation. It boss. Come on back after we reopen the shop. Well do. Easy XP. Snap in Jimmy Bob. To the cat. No pile. The snow drift is just the right balance of density and wetness to pack snowballs. Be on the snow pile. Ooh. Be on the snow. Unzip and. Yellow tinged snow could make for some seriously gross snowballs. Gather yellow snowballs. Pick up several sludgy yellow projectiles. Nice. Uh, why are you dead, sir? Is, what is happening over here? Oh, a thief. Bunch of thieves. You scumbags. Hey, take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Glances up from looting the corpses. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those values looking that way? back. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Well, that would be a very poor choice, but okay. Moving to cover. Taking the shot. Ooh, she needs some fucking armor. Yeah, shoot him, that's fine. You do damage, boy. Not a lot of damage, but you do damage. Bear. I get somewhere that is cover. I don't know if this counts as cover or not. Doesn't look like it. Um, let me you. Just there, thief, thief leader, thief. Fuck you, nerd. Hunker down. Now we can move. Oh, fucking arms off. Just, um. Maybe that Ready. next turn. Uber six. tank. Oh, damn it. I ain't got time to bleed. Right up dead. Down three turns until incapacitated. Bitch. 
Yeah, fuck you, nerd. Can I do it again? Not enough AP. Take lower stance to gain improved hit chance, invasion, and det detection time, and you will automatically stand up if you begin moving. Power point, proceed uh, okay, whatever. Where's, 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 where's one of these? Using combat. Can you... Do it from there. Nice, it's just like an instant revive as well. Sick. Or this dude and that dude's all the way back there, like a little bitch. Another 4 AP? What the fuck? Thank you. Hey, that's all we needed. Oh, I can't clobber you from here. Waste of a bullet. See ya. End him. Is that... Nice. Okay. I mean, invalid target. What do you mean? Gonna do it? Fine, here's you only yeah, pop one of those. There we go. Right, you need some armor, like drastically. You have a cool coat though. Um Acid shoulder. You can't chuck enemies over your shoulder like before. You can only be removed by an injury kit or doctor NPC. How long does that last? Be removed by injury kit down. Uh used to held a bit, but We're okay. Right, we got some stuff. New attribute point. Be the tank. Yours. Big guns, armor modding, explosives, weapon modding. Okay, we're gonna go one here, one there. New perk. Starting at level 4, your rangers will earn a perk point every other level. Perk points are used to unlock powerful abilities and passive bonuses. Perks become available to learn as you upgrade your skills. Now I have a perk point so I can learn some of these. Blade talent deals an extra. So don't use blades, so that seems a bit dumb to get that. Knock the wind out of a guy, it doesn't matter what kind of fancy gun he's packing. One target enemy has 15% chance. Well, 50% less hit chance. Frozen enemies will take double damage, which this hammer does apply frozen. Um, what's this? 
0.5 combat speed the first time combat while you guns. Put your heads down and give your buddies a chance to move in. Required three. Ability spreading fire. Heavy finger an attack that consumes twice as many bullets. Enemies in the area take minor damage and are suppressed, losing 0.8 combat speed and minus 20 hit chance for two turns. Deals plus 300% damage versus demoralized targets. Damage. Uh, damage 100% of weapon damage. Minus suppressed. Uh, we're gonna go for the stun first. Go for that crowd control, you know. He also has some points. Go in or create chance. Oh. Not picking. Hey. Uh, you get a perk point. So you get, if you see an unprotected spot, put a hole in it. Make him pick between fighting and stopping all the blood. Spread a shot. Fires a shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding on anyone hit. Deals plus 100% damage against targets with armor damage. Uh, damage 100% of weapon damage. Why is bleeding? Okay, well, we don't intend to use shotguns, at least for the time being. You're always looking for an opening, and handguns are pretty good at making them. Your strike meter charges a bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. Uh, in addition to the tactical value, marking an enemy for your squad to focus fire on is good. Oh, fire on is good, mean, fun. Reduces an enemy's evasion by minus 15. Marked targets will take plus 50% damage from precision strikes. That's marked. I like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, we're going to get this. That seems pretty sick. What's this? When an ally is down in battle, gained plus one combat speed for two turns. Alright. What's uh what's the other stuff he has access to? Nothing for now. Uh never know what you're gonna find when you take a weapon apart. Field stripping now has a chance of providing weapon mods. Nice. Damn, tender loving care. All squad members gain plus five armor while this character is present. That's pretty thick. Um Do have any spend? No. We're all about shooting as well. We're all just about handguns, right? All arms, weapon modding, barter, okay. You have trick shot. I hope these guys wouldn't know what to do if you took away their weapon. Fire a handgun attack that has minus 50 hit... No, 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 minus 50 hit chance. This attack hits, you get an instant plus 3 AP, and your strike meter is instantly filled. Deals 100% damage versus marked targets. Ooh. That synergizes quite well with our sniper. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I don't know why that has a separate little animation thing, but okay. Bullets, and of crap. Skeet Hunter, the old sporting gun, has been held together by duct tape and hope since before the bombs dropped. Uh, what else we got? Some more scout armor, which we don't need. And I'm own another med pack, bullets, stick. Worth investigating. Crap. Dumpster. Gotta do a bit of dumpster diving. Army flamethrower. Simple construction, but easy to use and damn intimidating. Nice. I don't know if that's better or worse than what we have, but. Still cool. Used cat litter filled with comp cat litter and little chocolate nuggets. Wait, that's not chocolate. A sack of cat bones. These cat bones look to have been cleaned of their meat. Let's check the weapon. So he's currently running this roasty toasty, 13 to 19, and this does 18 to 26. We don't have four big guns yet. We should hold off. Um. Why are you not all highlighted? Behave yourself. These are the apartments. Intercom. More random piles of scrap. <coughs> Literally, piles of... Woof. A doggos. Um... I'll just get some regular snowballs. Don't know what they do, but, you know, 
who doesn't want snowballs. Troy's Diary. Small book with a bunch of dicks drawn on the cover and the words, Troy's Diary, don't... Troy's Dairy, don't fucking read. Someone with different handwriting has added one word. One word, moo. Damage sensor, uh, burn book. The wide choke weapon mod. If you're increasing the cone of fire outside the barrel, since we've got guns. Dick. Uh, right, there's a nightclub. A nightclub guard. Boss said we're closed till further notice. Well, that is much unfortunate. I was hoping to get my drink on. Another cat. Gas eaters. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if you can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Uh, Taiwan Jesus, guns. loaves and fishes! Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn dorses dropped a landmine under it. Did they? Uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, thank God. You'd be doing me a shell of a favor. I should hit you with the hammer. Alright, well, where's the fucking... Crap cakes! Well, I guess that takes care of the landmine. I'm back in business. I'll just eat it with my face. Hey, you want to sell me stuff? Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium! We have every fin you need, just for the asking and, well, the paying. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? Have you seen the giant dude in a diving outfit? Um, tell us about yourself. Ah. You want to hear about the wide open seas, my trusty vessel, the wild waves crashing the shores? Not really. Well, sorry chums, I'm just here to sell stuff. What would you like? What's with the ocean puns? It's fucking I annoying. I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. I will hit you. Fish? No. No. Wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Me? I've never even seen a fish in my life. Wondrous creatures, I hear. Your wares? Sardinely. I will hit you. Yeah. Laser pistol. Bone crusher. We are minus two percent because of our bartering skill. Bren. What do we want to sell? Sell junk. Up to 524. Uh, does this sort for both? It does. I mean, I should, I should probably start breaking these down. Arthur bonus plus 100%. Uh, Slag's not bad. That's garbage. Uh, we're gonna sell. Army rifle. Fuck off. Monkey wrench, can we do one? Keep these just in case we have to hold on to them. Can't get them back. Um learned to weigh a weapon when fight it actually goes pew pew pew. <laughs> really? Battle rifle, the rattler, the reaction repeater, scout rifle. Um Scorpion, the Bren, flamethrower. Oh no, the flamen werfer. RPG seven, Iron Bone Crusher. Um, is it pistol, pulse gun? Reward the laser dazzler was used in right control. Since then, the laser has been cranked the hell up. Interesting. Like an auto shotty, a lead sprayer, SMG, army revolver. Model 85, 53 to 86. Good. What rifle? 
play on how aren't you? Um, we'll probably just hold off these for now. Um, because I'm lazy and want to keep my money. Five of corpses. The bodies of fallen marshals and citizens have been arranged for pickup and a proper burial. Airy milk teeth. Oh, let's chat with this guy. Welcome to Mary Milk this lady. Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey raid. I can help with that too. What do you need? What's your story? Just a simple humanitarian who saw a niche that needed filling. Now. Are you buying or are you talking? Yeah, for sale. Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Here you go, Let's children. Have a look. Salvation is at hand. Midi. Three the way forward. Okay, good for closing cuts and punctures. Both are unfortunately inherent to the range of life. Antidotes. Poisons. Very punch. Uh, you won't get drunk, but you won't get fat either. Drunk too. Well, someone's got to be the designated driver. Force the light. Force when you need an excuse for your revolting behaviour. Whoop ass. Colorado's number one fighting beer. Open up a can today. Nice rowdy. Um, how many? We'll pick up a few of these. I like four. We'll buy a bunch of these. I like four of those as well. Alrighty. Did you um. see the Dorseys almost blow up the statue? Yeah. I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stopped at the last second. Wouldn't be Market Square without it. Snapping Jimmy Bob. Snapping Jimmy Bob still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hey. New faces. Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. What's your story, Jimmy Bob? That's snapping, Jimmy Bob. Thank you. What's your story, snapping, Jimmy Bob? Not that much to tell. My dad was a trader and a good one, and now I'm a trader and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. What's that contraption on the end of your stall? Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. That's right. Let's. Snickers. Peanuts. 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 Turny tarts. Snack that not uh, a snack that even the end of the world couldn't kill. Twice and bits. All the sodium and fat of pork rinds, but with twice the calories. Lamb. Meat in a can. Why, thank you, ma'am. Beer nuts. It's got nuts. What more do you want? Chips ahoy. It's about to get chonky. Why have you got weapon attachments amongst all this? Frozen ferret. Is it animal cruelty if they're already dead? Ammunition? Excuse me? Cryo cell linkage. Weapon mod under barrel. Converts to cold damage. Advanced heat pump connects the cryosol directly to the weapon's ammunition. 15% chance to apply frozen. Interesting. You can apply it to a flamethrower, so you can make an ice thrower. That'd be cool. Um, Rigo's Big Vegas brand premium cigar. Smooth smoke for rough times. Six, if you're going to go, go in style. Flavor to die for. Nails. Cut rifle barrel. Simple, consistent rifling on a true before true bore for improved bullet velocity. More pen, more max damage. Minus four minimum damage. 
Full choke. Range. 21mm magnifying scope. Uh, staple attachment of the pre-war world. This basic scope provides a modest zoom. Or range. Laser sight. More crit damage. Classic sighting tool. The red beam can make it easy to aim, but can also get it get lost in some environments. Why is assault rifle handgun heavier than Okay. Yeah, basically, tape grip. A few wraps of industrial tape makes the grip a little more tacky in the palm. I have a crit chance. Balancing weights. Adding these adhesive metal strips or weapon will distribute weight for heavier but, but uneven strikes. More pen. More max damage but lower min damage. And then just a variety of ammo. Decoy. A pop-up decoy that falls targets to attacking it. A decoy that enemy... Okay. Interesting. We will leave you for now. Um... I toy with his machine. Where the fuck did that just go? Oh, it goes in there, okay. Interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going in here, but fuck it. Seven anymore. Thanks. What the fuck? That's creepy as shit. Patriot's weapon. Cybernetic limbs. Three deluge canned beans. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? My oh, hello, uncle tells phone. me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, the tell me that you Snapchatted me. My Snapchat Somebody's doesn't always notify me. So good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. I'm not me, so I That's need it. That's how you work. Huh. Yeah. I'm sure you know best. Um, can I talk to these things? Button. Didn't what? I feel like I don't want to wake these things up, though. Artificial limbs and augmentations taken from the bodies of defeated Scar Collectors after the legendary Battle of Punkin Center, where the Patriarch defeated the Savage Warlords of the Eastern Plains once and for all. A replica of the rifle Sheriff Daisy used when she fought at the Patriarch's side during the war against the Plains Gangs. For her bravery, heroism, and tactical brilliance, he appointed her Sheriff of Colorado Springs. <clears throat> the original and authentic treaty that united the hundred families under the Patriarch's rule for the safety of the people of Colorado, signed by the Patriarch himself and the representative each of the families. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? Monster uniform. Uniform of a soldier in the Monster Army, the gang that terrorized Colorado Springs until the Patriarch defeated them and won their fealty. Bullet holes and blood show the fierceness of the fighting. Traitor's weapon. The sword of Nellius Dorsey, who led his clan in an attempted coup against the Patriarch. Nellius and the Dorseys were defeated after a treacherous attempt on the Patriarch's life. Now they are no more. <clears throat> Any other games are you playing this until DND? I will probably be playing this until DND. Old Baldy. A mechanical eagle in red, white, and blue top hat that slumps on a rustic perch. Why, hello there! My name's Old Baldy, and this here is the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. Or, as I like to call it, home. Me and my friends here are dedicated. Telling the story of old Saul Buchanan and the refounding of the great state of Colorado, which is just the first step in Saul's plan to bring back the good old United States of America. Please tell you the bird is talking. Yeah, it's an animatronic bird. Now, just a stroll from stage to stage and We'll tell you the story along the way. It's as simple as that. 
Any questions before you go? Buchanan make this museum for himself? Saul Buchanan is far too modest for such egotistical shenanigans. No, sir. It was the hundred families who built this place as a gracious thank you to the patriarch for all he's done for them. <clears throat> Tell us Buchanan's story. Well, I don't want to spoil the show, but... It begins with Saul's humble start in this very town, and it follows the trials and tribulations he faced uniting the hundred families, defeating the monster army, and bringing peace and security to Colorado. And, in case you were worried, it's suitable for children of all ages. Use animal whisper on a animatronic. Are you the American Eagle? Look just like my picture, don't I? Now ah, wait a minute. Let me give you my good side. There you go. I gotta admit though, I'm looking better than I was. <laughs> Life's been pretty tough on old Baldy since the world went to pot. Lost a lot of feathers. But now that Patriarch Buchanan's rebuilding America. I'm starting to feel like my old self again. That's what we want to know, thanks. Great! Then on with the show! Youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree. Could swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Learned to read and write before he could walk. Your PB and J's nice. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! The strongest of men. You can say can a baked beans from the bunker where the patriarch's family weighs down the deluge of fire. Canned food like this was all they had to eat, unlike today when the patriarch has provided us with fresh greenhouse grown vegetables. The fact you have weapons burns me. These work now. Oh god, you do. Then came the gangs of the eastern plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Oh, saw so him coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves. Strong as an ox at three score and ten. He faced down the savages again and again. Then drove them back to the desolate east and secured for Colorado an endless peace. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! The truest of men. You could say that again. Well, that's a thing. The hundred families came to see you springs, and all fell to fighting over frivolous things till saw raised their heads to the circling wings of the vultures who were waiting to die like kings. He said that the only way to save the land was to bury the hatchet and all shake hands. So they signed the treaty in a single day and begged him to lead them and show them the way. Is Buchanan a man? Don't like it mute, Nemo. I mean, I agree, it's annoying, but it's meant to be. Um, why is there a missing display? With the families behind him, Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan Bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler surrendered his crown. You can't spare flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flab signed up. On the dotted line, now his monsters keep us safe in the evening time. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! The truest of men. You can say that again. Well, the Dorseys thought they had a better. 
better idea. Believe they can rule by murder and fear. Tried to steal Colorado from our patriarch, but old Saul proved his bite was worse than his part. Drove out the Dorseys and gave their lands to the poor and the needy and the Indians. So mercy for the merciless was his stand. So he hunted the Dorseys to the very last man. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. I get it. Alright, I leave. Is there a door over here? No. Are you following this power line? Uh, okay, well, did that bit. Um,. over here that we missed. Oh, hello. Container. Me and a cigarette. Go to her. Theodoric Curie. Who used ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions, if you're here to learn about our wall. Oh. Who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine, nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly... They are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps, one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. What is about the wall? It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, You'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. I Believe I... me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. Oh, really? Back to the wall. Yes, he caught her. Oh, me caught her. He told me, Mama caught her. Caught her. Uh, first I want to go rummaging through this pile of shit. Thank you for the pile of shit. Let's talk to you. Oh, you want to talk to Mama? Oh, okay, She's I'll talk to Mama. Funny hat. Grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree, the round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf, eyes invisible in a face that is more wrinkled than You skin. got business with Mama Carter? Oh. Uh, yes. Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Oh, fuck Until you then. Until then, scram. Alright, alright. Can't figure out cold fusion in today's times, but this guy thinks he'll do it in an apocalypse more than a lot of them. Drug stash? You don't need this stuff, right? You got his big Vegas brand premium cigar and some buttons. You don't need them. Go in there in a minute. Did I make Knuckle Dragon? Uh, no. no. This is Coyote, and we have Orc, and then we've picked up two, uh, kind of... Come on, pull through. Uh, and then we picked up two, uh, characters along the way. Two companions. Yuck Parker! I was splattered. Linebacker in a lab coat, this doctor is clearly wary, but works feverishly to banish the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Orc or Hawk? Hawk, like the bird. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Um, we do anything to help? It's just toward the injured patients lying nearby. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Um, count on us. What can we do? 
Find and return the supplies to Doc Parker at the clinic in downtown Colorado Springs. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. I mean, we've already got it, so... Right. Then get started on those patients. Got it. He holds allowing himself a quiet sigh of relief, then returns attention to the injured woman. Right. Uh... Probably stop the bleeding. Yeah, do it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Found something. This looks like it could help Parker's patients. Thanks. Yeah. You closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own guts. Family target. Okay, so can I just equip all these to, uh, to the bar? Oh no, yeah, I need two slots. Um, how about if I use one of these? We're better now. Oh, she's unconscious. Oh, okay, I see. Wait, what? Oh, give me that shit. Come here. Removes injury. Anyone's unconscious, her head is wrapped in bloody gauze. Um, what about you? You done you? Ah, oh, you done you. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but... Maybe I'll actually walk again. Yeah, there we go. Where? Got it topped off. What's going on? Did you patch me up? Yep. What now? Hail them all. Doing everything we can for the patients, they should all pull through. Good. Thank you. Got a stethoscope. Ago, I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. You mean like my giant headquarters is completely empty? If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Sure, I need a doc. Welcome aboard, Dr. Parker. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Uh, we could use some medical attention. Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck. Nice. Anything else? Rangers, I'd chat. But there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to All right, headquarters. fair enough. You ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars, but... Arapaho... Arapaho convoy truck is undergoing repairs. When you carry goods across all of Colorado, you're bound to take some damage. Drew, who are you? Jimmy Longhall. Even in his old age, this man is impressive. Broad shoulders and thick necked, he wears his hair in a thick white braid. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. Good haven't man. seen your friends before. If you folks are looking Let's for help off. with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. Old retired grease monkey Geralt. <clears throat> what is this place? This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. 
We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. But you also repair people. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Parker, good doctor? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. And now he's serving me. Uh, can you tell us about your employees? Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. So are you all Arapo? Ar Arapaho here? At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. Arapaho. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. What can you tell us about the Arapaho? Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, oh, so and so on. True. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Uh, do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Uh, what do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. We can customize the vehicle. Hefty kit has all tools you need to perform basic repairs. Rock a horn. 10 4, good buddy. Watch your 20. Upgrade the horn on it. Rhino cannon, vehicle upgrade weapon. Big beast of cannon that fires high explosive shells. Air kits. Seems fun. Come back to this when we have more monies. A wrench. Can't wait to be done today. Gonna get my salsa on. Fun. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. Faster. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost of the plane. I know it's my car. Okay. Uh, okay, well I think we're good to go and slap these nerds that are hiding out in that place. Go chat to this boy. You go kitty cat. In the door. Unshaven and slovenly, Marshal Lupinski shifts his unlit, half-smoked guard at the corner of his mouth as you approach. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. <laughs> Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Very dark in my room today. 
Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Okay. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. Shut the fuck up. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. That's your face. Uh, any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nope. Helpful. What's behind this gate? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck those mm -hmm. Dorseys. All right. No Looking room simple. for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. We want to travel to the Garden of the Gods. Yes. The Blood Beast is a breed of savage, skinless wolverine that the Dorseys train to track down bleeding prey. Well, I have to kill that too. Just sit tight, we'll take care of the Dorseys. Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hey! You on the ledge! Hands up! Oh no. They found me. Well, oh, shit. I love the chicken. Hex the ground. Makes sense. What is this? Leafy green vegetables are happily growing atop this rocky spire, warmed by solar collectors and other weird devices. The snow melts into droplets of water before it reaches them. Oh. Ice block. Oh, hello. Um. I have to go and smack the fuck out of this. Immune? I'm gonna try that again. Yeah. Didn't fucking think so. Ooh, a new sniper rifle. There's three sniper rifles. Is that better than what we have? Uh, she's currently, what, 48 to 66? This, 53 to 73. Don't mind if I do. Let's do. Oh, that would have worked too. Okay. Fair enough. There, or we're coming up. You, you, hey! Well, where did you come from? You back the hell off, or you're dead! Um. Calm down, let's talk this out like adults. You saying I'm a child? You're the one who's in for a whooping. Okay. I'm gonna throw pissed on snowballs at you. A bunch of knives you have there. Let's make this quick. How much is it to throw a pissed soaked snowball? Two AP? We doing it. Throwing it right at that dude. He doesn't seem to care. Okay then. You two can have a snowball. Fuck you. Get 
Well then, um, let me use you first. Clearly don't know how to negotiate with Americans. Well, there wasn't really any negotiating, it was either we try and talk or we attack them. Using combo, they will never see coming an extremely quick attack that only costs one AP but has a minus 60% chance. Oh, that's cool though. Um, let me use you. Sick. Why did you miss? That's not allowed. Be fair, he does deserve to be stabbed. What the? Oh, what about you? That tickles. I'll let them deal with him. Fuck it. Don't feel my blades for that. Uh, we'll put you here. Let them do their thing. Wait, you can still shoot. Oh no, you can't because it's 6 AP. Never mind. Um, no mass, use been combat exploration, not enough AP. Take him down, clean, a reliable attack that has plus 20% hit chance, but minus 100% crit chance and 33% damage. So weaker shot, but it's guaranteed damage. Um, we're gonna mark this boy. Fuck. You're up. Yeah, you tell him. Um, come to you, gonna, right, no, well, you. They're all out of range, never mind. Um, you defend. You save till next turn. You, I suppose, will run over here. Did he hurt himself when he ran into- oh no, it's because he was bleeding. Come to cave your skull in. Puncturing shot applies damaged armor. Used in combat or exploration, fires an assault rifle attack that punctures through multiple enemies, hitting anyone in its path. Deals 100% damage versus stunned targets. And a mass. Uh, okay, so that's the same. So I'll use that. Save the precision strike, methinks. And you can. Not see him. Do an ambush. Um, so we'll take another regular shot. That'll do. The young gentleman is covered with dirt and shivering from the cold. His eyes are wide and shocked. Oh God! Did the patriarch send you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the gateway rocks. Smack for us, talk later. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I, I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people... I'm going to end them all. This chick's pretty cool. Her eyes brim with tears and she turns away angrily when she sees you looking. I'll tell whatever I can to help. 
it's not much, but and uh, da, 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 da. you who are you and what are you doing here? My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here, herding their hostages with them. So I hid up here and kept out of sight. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people. Laughed at them when they begged for their lives. The kids were screaming, so they beat them too. Then they dragged them all further on toward their camp. Where are the hostages? I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Belle? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but they were still alive. Where's that jacket? Uh, do you really have this place rigged with explosives? God, no. I was stalling for time. If I had a few hours in the right chemicals, though, I could have prepared quite a surprise for them. You <sighs> saved my life. I won't forget it. Hot Wheels car. Hot Wheels car. <clears throat> A brief history of the tibia. Dick. Alright. Well. Help here. Healing done. Uh, 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 you got him on self. And there's a plastic holographic cover featuring a jet that bangs and turns depending on the angle you look at it. On the inside of the cover is written Journal of Annie Blue. <clears throat> Pages of this journal are yellowed with age and the ink has faded with time in many of their earlier entries it appears to belong to someone named Ali Blue. The last entry reads November 30th, 2059. Gabriel Reyes and Althea Wesson came to our compound today. There was a tense there was a tense bit where Sydney shot at them but fortunately Jordan was there and recognised them from that time over in Balcon, Balcon Park. Uh, they brought some coffee and we talked over a warm drink. It was nice. Civil. Pleasant even. Trying to not be at the throats of someone not in the family, but that was the whole point, I suppose. They want us to head back into the city next week to meet with a man named Saul Buchanan. They even suggested relocating to Colorado Springs. Abandon the Peterson, imagine that. Been safe here for years and they want us to move out and what? Become neighbours with them? Those, those despicable Noxes? We'll go to the meeting, they said this Buchanan fellow is very persuasive and they, com they, promo they promised us a tin of that coffee so it won't be a total loss to check it out. But I'm certainly bringing my guns. Um, slaver's note, rush order from ST, drop whatever you're doing and round up 6, late 10, early 20, preferably female, most importantly in good health. The last batch we sold him didn't last a week, if we disappoint him again there will be consequences. Colorado Springs is, is a wash in refugees right now, I'd start hunting there. Marshals won't care if, if a few go missing, there are probably more than a few families that will gladly hand over a daughter if it means one less mouth to feed. Once you've got all 6, take them straight to the track. ST will pick the best four, and then you can bring the others back. I should have a buyer for them by the end of the day, LP. Uh, he's clearly lying, kill him, blah blah blah, that's not on the thing you read. What? What are you on about? Um, right. And I... ...search this pile of shit. More stiff. I like it. Um, also, that's not actually what I was looking for originally. I picked up a book. Oh, it's just junk. Okay. I was wondering if it was something we could read for like a skill point. Uh, you got angry and killed the old merchant lady at Firelink last night and you never felt so bad. <laughs> Rip. Isaac has a bladed weapon. Um, I mean, you don't use bladed weapons, but sure, why not? Let's go. There's a rabbit. Ammo and shit. Don't be trapped. Nice. 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 I want to check something because... Options.
Mm, Ranger. Yeah, okay, so we're on the second hardest lit difficulty still. Oh, it just doesn't seem to have been that difficult. I guess I've made some okay builds so far. But as well as... I'm detected. Um, as well as using... Um, some of the pre-orders. Probably a little bit better. Um, I... Level 2. Oof. Level 2 mechanic. Do we not have any level 2 mechanics? We suck that much. Wow, we're absolute trash. Nice. Um, can I possibly break the door down? A lot of stuff in there that I would like. Bella meow. What the fuck? Fox? Iron mine. Fuck. Oh, another blood beast. Blood. Uh. Didn't even drop anything, she just scolded you. Rip. What game? Uh, he's talking about Dark Souls 3. Fairy Punch! Loot all. Right, I'm gonna put my sniper here. Um. No, what are you doing? Get out of the line of sight, you turd. No, get out of the line of sight, I said you. Half wit. Alright, I insta killed one of you, I don't care. Nice save in combat. No. Um, Beastmaster, you have an interesting looking weapon there, sir. You mind if I came and smacked you with this? I'm gonna save that because that does an AOE damage, right? Yeah. I wish to come and smack you in the face and take that full color. Out of range. Oh, whatever. Let me change the fucking target. Thank you. Uh, okay, so you initiating combat now actually still uses up your AP, which kind of fucking sucks. But at least you're in full cover and got an insta kill, so that's fine. The beast master. Um, so bonus damage. Or that, though I didn't actually read what it did. Um, vision strike this boy because I can. What does arms do? Focus hit chance by 25. Just down, bam, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, combat speed, fix bleed. Just take five percent and reduce the target's arm by percent. Yeah, this one. Oh. Nice. Uh, she nearly kill him. He's on two HP. Nice. What? Well. <laughs> da 
that was not a good idea. What? Where are you going? That's a weird UI bug. Fun. Um, 2 AP, 6 AP, you want 10 AP available though. 50%. Um, I think we will. This. Time for an ass woman. I'm gonna do this because it stacks. I'm gonna shoot you. There we go. Thank you. Head. Four hundred odd damage. She just did like four hundred six damage. Pull that thing apart. There. <laughs> uh, you are dying over there. You're dead. Um, monitoring shot. Five AP. Oh, he hit me though. want to hit me. Um, yes, like. All right, hang on a sec. That has fifty percent minus fifty to hit chance. If this attack hits you, get an instant three AP and a strike mid. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That cost four AP. Um, I don't like you. Out of range. You're a shit shot. Blood pursuit, excuse me. Run away, Fox. Okay, well. Her over here. That's fine. I can play with him. Mm, you keep tanking. That's fine. Right, can I? That's what we wanted. Cute. Much better. Turn him to paste. Much better. Uh, you... 3 AP. Oh. Both. Yeah, yeah, both. Make sure. Garbage. Out of ammo. Oh fuck, that weapon's out of ammo. For now, you can try equipping a different weapon or unequipping it and going bare-knuckled. Once you're out of combat, you can resupply by finding a merchant. 
But for loot, I'm almost scarce in the wasteland, so it pays to stay stocked up. I mean, he's only... He's, gun's empty, I don't, I'm not out of ammo for it though. Um... How far? Okay, so you can get quite far in one turn. Which is a nice thing. Go AP, so I'll save these. Shoot him, he's in the open. So you fucking suck. Thank you boys coming. Actual fucking sculling. Or I'm gonna whiff like a bitch. Um, heal her. Hold on. Not good. At least you're in cover now. Not enough. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nice, you reload in. Have that AP. She's got three AP. One of these. Five percent to hit. Ooh. Bleeding. Got a few extra holes in you. Look it down. Uh. Quick damage. Down time. Uh. That's not just a a standard heal. It's also a heal over time, which is pretty good. Tickles. Squished. Squish that one now as well. Out of range? No, don't be out. Oops. Oh, I'll take your shit. Why not? Vehicle upgrade hood ornament. Nice. Best armor, scout pants, acidic sludge, pheromone sack. Uh, unlocked a vehicle upgrade. Return to Ranger HQ. Return to Ranger HQ. Call it onto the Kodiak. Blood Beast Fang. More money. I've still got the spacing to come and irritate the living fuck out of you. Point blank. There, yeah, that's better. Ah, hey, and she got the final shot. Fucking sick one. Give me your shit. Ah. Right. We all good. I mean, she's got shattered shoulder. We need to repair that. Uh, also, going to give her some more armor because currently she's getting living shit kicked out of her. Fine. Um. Why is how we doing, bunker buster? I've got my flamethrower for when I need it. A mangler. Um. Convincer. Uh, fuck it. As is. Do some healing. Tank specifically. Uh, how many other things we got? You can pop one of those. You'll be fine. Uh, 
a box. Red tech helmet, which we already have. Work armor, plus four. Shape metal plates, riveted to leather underlayer, provide moderate protection, decent mobility. Canvas pouches provide easy access to stored gear. Another Merc helmet. I will take it all. And if I do. Uh, dig up through this. What? What's in that pit? Romancing the ghost. Um, right. What's that armor? Plus three. Plus four. Yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, hang on. Where's fucking city ass? Like a hat? Have a hat. Give you some more crit chance. That'll do you good and proper. All right. Sent of charred meat and burnt hair wafts from wafts from the pit. Smoking bodies contorted by agony or most or post mortem muscle contraction lie curled up atop one another. It's impossible to identify the corpses, but they appear to be both adults and children. Lucia stares at the bodies. Her knuckles are white, and the grips grips of her guns and her breath comes in little grasps. Uh, we'll leave her alone. <gasps> the explosive gas she releases her breath and squares her shoulders. I don't know if they're here or not. I can't. Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. Examine the bodies more closely. Near the edge of the pit, a child-sized corpse appears to be clutching something as if they were protecting it or hiding it. Take the bundle from the child's arms. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. Lucia turns away, looking like she's going to be sick. Fine, we'll leave it. Nothing else in the pit catches your attention. The bodies and other items they carried are burned beyond recognition. Away from the pit. Next time I'm taking it. Cyborg chicken! Nearly spherical in shape, this plump specimen waddles contently along, pecking at the ground. For some reason, someone implants metal devices into its body. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good evolve. Um, cluck, cluck. It tilts its head one way and another, scrutinizing you with one eye and then the next. Sorry, chicken. Uh, grenade box. Molotovs. Don't mind if I do. Medical crate. Even better. I'm gonna. S possibly. Ha! <coughs> Excuse me. Hey. That hurt my face. Um. All right. What is this? Our control. What the? No, I see it. I'm trying to play with this. Leave me alone. In phase, the interface for the photon amplification lens looks simple. Most routines are automated, but there are some controls you can adjust. Uh, activate photon amplification lens. A happy flower appears on the screen. It says, POW! Activate it, POW! Ew. Where can I aim it? Wait, what? With the lens activate, you are locked out of all controls. The swine flower avatar waves at you under a word balloon. Have a nice day. Wait, so there was something around here I was supposed to melt. Unless I can, like, aim it at somebody. Maybe. I have a flamethrower, so fuck it. Don't seem too happy, puppy dogs. Come to me. You'll find where you are. Uh, right for the dome. Sick. 
out of range. Bonk. Big ol' hammer. Oh, she do terrify. What does terrify do? Overwhelm with fear, action points one. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. That could be so much worse. Uh, three AP left. Can't do it. Oh. Can't hit him again. Fuck sake. Oh, don't start this bullshit again. Uh, you. Pistol. You gonna shoot? There you go. Good job. Is that? All right. I think I got a level up. Tributes, um, balance perception. Um, I don't really care all too much about you, so you can have awareness, I guess. Um, weapon. Um, Can we do with you? Let's give you mechanics. Oh, I'll be a mechanic. Oh, got a perk point? I don't think he does. No. Okay. Uh, Emo, I'm not going to click that link unless you tell me what it is. Uh, tribute points. Do... You need some more health. You can have that. Uh, your face check. Alright, thanks, Jeff. Um, all arms, weapon modding, batter. Doom Eternal DLC. Oh, fair enough. Don't click it. Yeah, not interested. Um, oh, we're barter. We're a talky lady. Walkie talkie lady. Alright, cool. And dealt. No, what are you doing now? It's such a weird bug where it, like, Gets confused. Uh, wolf skull on. Charming. Ian Karen, creepy doll. Sweet and mousy as her look, but she's got your secrets in her book. Grants bonus to all scorpion. Plus one perception. Drink grenade. Scientists who create this device were so obsessed with whether they could that they never thought about whether they should. Uh, throw to bring someone down a peg. Apply a shrunk. Okay, sounds cool. Um, oh, you can actually... I didn't even notice you could walk through this. Cool. Um... What are Big solves conflict through negotiation. Poke shoots first and keeps shooting. <laughs> the kind of guy. Um, Isaac Reed, 100 families youth. Oh, was that all that was holding you captive? Oh, welcome, we have saved you. Clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored, the height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is ob obviously a prepared speech. I'm Isaac Reed. 
On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... they're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't yeah, suffer, Jesus. Lucia. I, I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this Shoot way. Him. Shoot him. I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. Uh... Wait a minute. You kids were helping the Dorseys? We... We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Tell us how those people wound up dead. It was Neilius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Don't even switch cheese. Where's Nellius Dorsey now? He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed Ow. west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. Uh... Why did you do it, Isaac? Why betray your community? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just break. his oh, I wanna... family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. Right, I'll do that later, but you're still scum. You're still acting alone. Did they have support from anybody else? Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Voice shakes, but her hand does not. You didn't even see her draw her gun. Well, I did. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. You fucking all I ever meant was gobbler. to help build a better world for you, for all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Go for a kitty's garbage. Please, Lucia. I love you. And her hand does shake violently. She pulls the trigger anyway. Bullet strikes him in the gut. He topples, blood spilling from his lips and a slowly spreading pool of gore surrounding him. He turns his head up to Lucia, agony in his gaze. It'll take him a long time to die. Didn't bleed to death. Doesn't deserve anybody. Yeah, fuck him. Can't summon words around his pain. He reaches out trying to touch Lucia's leg. He steps hurriedly away, leaving mewling in the snow. Oh god. It hurts so bad. Psychos! You killed Isaac! You kill us all! Now that's not a fight you want to start. You do no damage. Eradication will come to you all. Man, I just cleaned my gun. Yeah, the fucking way. Headshot.
One HP, you fucking serious? Get out of the damn way. Fuck you guys. Going to squish you. That's better. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Uh, we killed every last Dorsey rat and the hundred families' kids helping them. Roger that, November 1. Maybe let's not talk too loudly about this killing hundred families' kids business. Over and out. Welcome. It was another hundreds family kid that fucking sentenced him, so why am I the one in trouble? Um BP nine one Z nine mil ammo Old handkerchief Hunting knife Brass knuckles a hunting knife another pistol another brass knuckles another let me pistol What loot do you have for me? We bar knuckles That letter is Z. Wait, what? Oh, you're going about the, the gun. Do you mean Z? Here we say Z. Uh, in fact, I think we see both, depending. Hydroskin's, hydroskin panels, if I can read. Silicon ceramic scales inside each of these panels are light and strong. The panels can replace bulky plates to improve mobility. Nice. Camp is only a few days old. Looks like the Dorsey's gathered here before their attack on the city. Well, they got fucking destroyed. Do you want to travel to downtown Colorado Springs? Yes. <clears throat> Patriarchs, marshals keep the peace in Colorado Springs. Sometimes they keep a peace for themselves too. What well, they do? I'm really enjoying the blunt weapons. Not gonna lie. Fucking crunching them. Justice your family, isn't that what you wanted? I... I... I did, but... Was this it? Was Isaac who I should have shot? There's I... plenty more shooting to go around. I need to find the people who steered Isaac wrong. The people who were really responsible. Neelius, Dorsey, and Liberty Buchanan. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Oh yeah. Uh, yes, we'll help you in return. You followed or follow orders like a ranger. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, rangers. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was going to follow orders, not give them. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Yes, we should. Uh, let's go check out and see if that old man has his uh, shop back up and running. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. Oops. So I cast it Look, Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. Good. Um, you and your wife get along well? Hardly a crossword between us. <laughs> she says nothing but rolls her eyes behind him. Uh, what can you tell me about the shop? Been making clothes and adornments for the hundred families for 30 years. Most of them won't buy from anybody else. Of course, we sell to regular folks too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock. Repurposed or restored garments, mostly. Uh, what we have for sale? Old man smiles happily and starts showing you his wares. Look at all this stuff. Impact foam armor mod. On armor, status effect resistance 15%. Combat belt. Quick slot. Oh, we got an extra slot. Weight of spray. It comes in an aerosol can. Lay a thick layer on your armor to gain basic insulation against elemental exposure. Um, scrapper outfit. Very practical people have salvage damage Kevlar vests and into individual pads that can be attached to a complete to a complete torso armor. Uh, oh, you can just up added to other armor plus three armor as well. Um, big armor. That's interesting. That's tempting. Um, we're all right in cash, to be fair. Sell the junk. Go and take that ship. Um, she appears to have a level up. Um, chance. Um, right. Points. Uh, let's go. And on the sneak. Oh. Um, I'm going to put go. Uh, oh, nerd stuff. Nerd stuff. Sick. Um, also, let's do some armor modding. Uh, fuck, he needs more armor modding. Um, we'll do... Uh, we'll do this. Oh, wait, I've got to do this, haven't I? Modify. You can only have one or the other, so we'll go. We'll do that then. Um, hit piece. Armor crit resistance. That. Uh, evasion and armor, combat speed and armor. I want a big slot. I will modify yours though, you can have that. I wonder if you can get armor with multiple mod slots, that'd be cool. Um, modify the legs. I'm gonna have extra ev uh, evasion. Is effect. Uh, you modify. You can have the extra speed. Uh, 
as well because you need to be a bit tankier. Um, alright, cool. Okay. Killed by Dorsey thugs. Family's taken hostage. Oh, Brandy. Brandy. Who are you? Wait. Excuse me. What are you doing? Did you just kill Troy? Those old people are looking at us. It's okay, Brandy. I got this. Get lost, you perv douchebags. Before I. Are you Wait what? Wait a minute. You're old, right? Can you get us some beers? A stupid Mary Milk Teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. That's rap, fellow youth. Drinking and drugs ain't cool, okay? Stay in school. Holy shit. Can you be any more lame? Yes. Just... Ew! Be your own. I will lose this. Brandy's Diary. A small book with a series of hearts and daggers drawn on the cover with the words Dream The Diary of Beautiful Brandy. Eyes drawn with a heart. Ah, what a load of trash. Can you actually read it? Uh, junk? Nope. Oh, okay, fuck. I was hoping to read it and just find some weird, it's stupid. Um, let's go see the thing. Oh, these guys are all dead. Got the Patriarch's Dorsey captive. Guess his trial was a quick one. Get that, dude. <coughs> Excuse me, love. I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor and put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor, we've got big problems. <laughs> but then, who'd make the precious hundred families feel all warm and snug? Yeah, they'd never let that happen. Okay. Hmm. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. No more Dorsies in my city. And everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. If they piss me off, then I'll start shooting. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you. But I see now that they were dead wrong. Old Saul always knows best. Uh, we're all on the same side, right? Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Leggings. Now before I forget... Let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Oh, yeah. Well, mostly shooting them, but on occasion. Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since. But she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Welcome aboard. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? And I did. Apparently they had help from Farron Brygo's gang. Uh, Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them, but it was Farron Brygo's gang who let them in. Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brygo. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Hell yeah. Run. Take down Brago for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe, and I'll owe you another favor. 
Always Always ready, pleasure, Rangers. Rangers. Alright, to the nightclub we go. We already found that, so we know where it is. Uh, it's up over here. Hopefully they'll keep walking while I'm doing this. Um, right. War bonus, experience bonus, leadership range, arc rate plus six mission. We'll probably start upgrading this a bit. Health and strength is so much fun. Your points. Uh that, I'll do that. That. Alright, so everybody's here. Um, was it this I wanted to modify? Oh. What was the mod I wanted to use? Oh, the legs, that's right. Um, what have we got for weapon mods? Because this hammer is treating us well so far. And oh, sure. Does that do? Extra crit chance, yeah? Fuck yeah. Uh, what about your rifle? Hello, barrel. Quite a soft rifle. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Oh, more damage output. What's this? Reload less with one with more ammo in the mag. Yeah, why not? Um, do we have any more mods? We're ripping a wide choke, which we don't use. Alrighty, <clears throat> one in. Smash up a nightclub. No refunds are given for injuries sustained during a session with the Joker. Hmm, Oh, I'm looking forward to the next three days off, chat. Oh. Gonna be a good time. Those slot machines are ready to pay out, though. <laughs> While you're at it, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. We've got drinks, dancing, and games of chance. Pick your poison. Uh, hostess. Hope you hit the jackpot. What's your favorite song? Gotta be Sex Dwarf. It bops so hard. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. This go ball. Uh, my club enforcer. Chat to you. Woo! These stairs lead to Mr. Brigo's lounge. He said I should let you guys through. Oh, did you now? But don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. 
What's so special about that computer? That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken. And there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. And trouble. Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out, I would. But nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place. Wanna okay. bet? Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, are you? No, oh, not at all. Don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Anybody else worth chatting to? Bartender. Private parts. <clears throat> Talk to the bartender well, first. Look what the hey there. What do you need? Uh, we're looking for a man named Delgado. Is he here? Sorry, chums. Don't know anybody by that name. Can't help you. Uh, you tell us about this place. This is the Little Vegas, a slice of paradise in a freezing shithole. Plenty of sins available for the picking. Just take a look around. It's on tap. All the best vices Colorado has to offer. <laughs> Combat stim. It's very great to me used by soldiers and mercenaries to give them an extreme edge in combat. Contents are questionable. Damn. Liquid time. Strange syringe filled with blue liquid. Probably blueberry flavoured. Variety of drugs. Um, hey there. What do you need? Ju juicy gossip to share? Loose lips don't get you far in Mr. Brigo's organization. So... Nope. Tell that to the enforcer, dude, by the computer. Don't be strangers. What about you? Man greets you with a smile, but his eyes dart about, never staying focused on your faces. He has a collection of pins and medals strewn across his chest. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Knows. Farron Brigo's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Uh, got a lot of titles, huh? All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? Ow. Uh, why do you call us Red Hats? Why wouldn't I? Isn't that who you are, with your hat so red? Oh well, can't help you if you're confused. Uh, what's with all the badges? You see this silver ram medal? You like it? It's my favorite badge. The Patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes sir, for saving his eldest son. Man, you should have seen the size of that snake! Mm, can you tell us about another badge? See this one with the skull? Sheriff Daisy gave it to me for dealing with a corrupt marshal. She was a beast, let me tell you. Must have had some kind of mutation. Eight foot tall with fists like bricks. But I gave her the old razzle dazzle, took her down. Did I find a guy named Lewis or Winter yet? No. Razzle dazzle? Is that what you call falling while running away from her and tripping her with your quivering ass? It worked, didn't it? She fell face first into a fire plug. Knocked her cold. Uh, what can you tell us about Little Vegas? Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy. Our pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of Sin City. But I never saw that place myself. You want to talk to the man in charge? You'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. What's your job around here? I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained. And that they don't wander into the back rooms. Okay, so what's in the back room? Get us into the back rooms? I can. Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, Mr. Brigo doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brigo's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. Tell us about another badge. Look at this one, 
with a lightning bolt. This is a bit of a sad story. There was this orphanage up in the mountains full of beautiful kids, one sweeter than the next. They were having problems powering their homestead, so I repaired and optimized their generator. They gave me this, handcrafted by their prettiest little girl. Why is that sad? Well, after I left, a tribe of robots sensed a new source of power and came hunting. Destroyed the orphanage and everyone in it. Poor kids. But I got my payback. Yes, I did. You're a lot of talk, aren't you? Uh, I think that's enough for now. Yeah, Charlie's got to save a few secrets for himself. Uh, looking for a man named Delgado. Delgato? What? Come on, Charlie. You remember Delgado. Nice guy, family man. Way too good for the trash in this place. No way you could miss him. Oh, not like you, Marshall. You blend right in with the rest of us. You winks. Sorry. Haven't seen him. Old Charlie would tell you if he had. Until next time, Red Hats. I talk to you. I'm looking for someone to deploy down south. Requesting permission to invade friendly lines. <laughs> uh, what is going on? Oh, the slot machines. Like sign the slot machine reads one dollar to pay match three wins five dollars three neon cowboys win the three hundred fifty jackpot. You death moves with your pocket knife and you've got the front panel open. Among the knot of gears, you spot the switch to trigger the jackpot mechanism. Winner! Sick. Do it again. Do it to these ones. Uh-oh, you're done playing in Little Vegas. You won enough already. Yes, I did. Gotta act tough. Gotta act tough. <laughs> I hope I look cool enough. Fuck me! Brett Krupier. No can do, pallies. Mr. Brygo says you've taken him for enough. If it were up to me, I'd let you play, but he's the boss. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! I'm so like, totally. Uh, you shouldn't do drugs. What's the problem? I went upstairs to get my sh sh shit out of the safe, but b b Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Can you help me? Why are you dead without that stash? I owe a lot of money. I don't sell this shit. They'll k k kill me. Uh, you're asking us to help you get drugs? Not my drugs. Other people's. Well, mostly. I got deliveries to make. Rhino and f Focus. Five each. It will pass. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. How does one start a fight? Face, how low can you go? Can I talk to the disco bot? You know that I know the DJ from way back. This disco bot, a modified Octatron equipped with speakers and lights, pumps out rocking tunes. Present request, party humans. I request right now. Enjoy party humans. I'm not sure it's smart enough to have friends, but okay. Private party, what's in here? Local 168, booyah! Two, Boulder. 168! 168! L! What are you rents doing in here? This is a private party. Door was open. Man is huge, scarred, and smells like a distillery outhouse. He sways on his feet. Uh. Who are you calling runts, you overgrown goiter? All the smiles, eyes glinting. Oh, so you've got some cojones. Well, 
If it's a fight you want, the local 168 are happy to oblige. What a shit name. Uh, pff. wait a minute. We're not looking for a fight. Too late for that ass breath. Get him, crew. Ass breath? Really? Okay, you've got a lot of health. Nobody fucks with the 68 and later. Not much use like this. I'm sorry, a minute. But maybe if I insulted him, he'd be like, "You, you're cool. We like you. Come drink." But no. Ask breath. Thought it was ask butt. I don't know. Either way, they're all verbal geniuses. Quite articulate with their ass breath comments. Uh, use them what? Oh, well, okay. We'll ignore that room for now. Wonder if ten is working today. Ooh, we always have a time at Kendall. The Welcome to Even the little if I go Vegas home with red hot. Man's face is a cross hatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you approach. Hello. Oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. Kendall? That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. Turns away, hard face, and one of his girls lean in. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo, and they cut off his junk. Smooth like a Ken doll. Get it? Makes him a great pimp, though. <laughs> That's what happens some sexy time. We're looking for a man named Delgado. Delgado, Delgado. You know, that name sounds really familiar, but remembering is going to be hard work. Uh, the kind of work a man should be paid to do? Kendall, you predictable son of a bitch. How much money would it cost to remember where Delgado I need is? serious cash. Any less, and it isn't worth the risk. Oh. Shit! I knew I should have asked for more. All right. Don't tell anyone I told you. But Delgado was sniffing around the club, asking too many questions about the Dorseys. Last I saw, Charlie Knowles was pulling him into the back rooms behind the bar. God damn it. Now Daisy's gonna want Brigo dead, and she won't take no for an answer. Minus what happened to Delgado? He was sniffing around the club, asking too many questions about the Dorseys. Charlie Knowles dragged him into the back rooms behind the bar. He's probably still back there, unless they killed him. Uh, let's talk about having some sexy time. Rangers, you're not actually going to First recreate you. in this disgusting place. Big man has of needs. Of course. Here at the Little Vegas brothel, we offer a royal flush of ladies and gentlemen of the evening. There's the lovely Ten of Hearts. The handsome Jack of Hearts, the imperious Queen of Hearts, the mighty King of Hearts, the unsurpassed Ace of Hearts, and for those of you who like it weird and wild, there's the one and only Joker. So, pick a card, any card. Obviously, we're we'll going Joker. Tell us about the Joker. Oh. You're brave even to ask. Wandering around a nightclub in a fucking diver's outfit with a sledgehammer. If you like your loving dangerous, unpredictable, possibly even life-threatening, then you might 
might be ready for the Joker. But... I am obliged to warn you that there are no safe words with the Joker, no boundaries, and most importantly, no refunds. If you choose the Joker, you take full I'll responsibility for the consequences. Understood? I bet the fucking Joker is like some big, like, ten-foot, bulky prison dude. A lot of people say that. Good luck. Uh, the sales pitch. My pleasure. Just one thing before you go. Have fun. Pay the escorts directly. Okay. Where is? You can way out back. Look at it at the end. I take it. Yes. Leisurely places this well decorated paces this well decorated room and appears even tempered and attractively rounded. As your eyes meet, it trots up to you, a playful spring in its step. It's a bulky fucking goat. Goat is wearing a bucket around its neck. Someone someone a stencil joker, ten dollars onto the side of the pail. Committing. Once you've dropped the requisite amount of money into the bucket, the goat lets out a satisfied bleat and turns around, its tail wiggling enticingly. I swear if there's a cutscene, I swear I'm gonna... <laughs> Kicker, you're top of the barnyard. Penetration plus four, I'm sure. Yes. <clears throat> Joke is wild. I worried it's customer satisfaction recording. Are you sure you want to hear this? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. Where the magic this, uh, this is my first time. So, how do we do this? Do I just... Oh! Whoa! Okay! T t take it off? I... Uh, on my knees? Uh, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> Let's go by ornament, vehicle upgrade, hood ornament. Mounts fever enabled. That was so very terrifying. Um okay, do I dare open all of these? Oh sweetie. Everyone has nerves their first time. Let's try again. Slowly this time. I no, I know how to do it. I just I don't feel like it right now. Hey, hey, who the hell are you Benjamin guys? Braddock. Uh, having troubles, Pipsqueak? Yes! I mean, no! I, uh, I just changed my mind! And, and now, I'm leaving! Most of us take a powder, just one word for you. Kid, plastics. Oh god, no. Keep it up, practice makes perfect. Bite me! I'm out of here! <laughs> Come back any time, Benji. <laughs> School's always in session. Woman on the bed turns I to you. I know you like what you're looking at. This woman wears her rage like a gift. Her red rose smile is cut. Mm. Curatorial. I can read. Like something intended just for you. She uncrosses and recrosses her legs, drawing your attention south. Of course she does. For a small fee, I'll show you things you had no idea you wanted. Impression is hungry, full of confident expectation. I'm good. That's a shame. I've got a lot I could teach you. Time to get pumped, bro. Hydration is important during extended workouts. I'll give you the royal treat. He won't, I'm just come to stealing your stuff. Workout tape, pump it real good. This tape feels oddly sticky. Gutter snake. Gutter snakes are, an, are any scrap constructed weapons based on Kalash hardware. Hail to the king, baby! 
you know. Time to get sweaty. You ready? Wish. Let's do this. Bicep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, get it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, feel the burn. Shoulder press. Oh my God. One. Professional takes advantage of every angle. Five, you know you love it. Nine, ten. Ugh. On your back. Yeah, bench press. For a full blown dominatrix. One, two, three, four, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Who's the king? You are. Twenty squats. Yeah. Bust Putting a gun then. Big round equipment Just for naughty boys and girls. Ordered. 12, 13, 14, 15 yeah. pounds of steel. 19, 20. Love yourself, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All the sophistication Let's of France play. in one ensemble. Ancient whore's phallus chapeau. Oh my god, it's got dildos on the side of it. Not just a dickhead, you're a dick's head. Ancient whore's piss baby sex boots. Starters and galoshes, all you need now is rubber sheets. <laughs> you get anything for having these? I wonder why they glow. I wonder what that means. Doesn't give you any protection, but damn, is it funny. Um, alright. Jack of hearts. Oh, what? That's right. Feast your so, eyes. Jack off hearts. Terrifying. Oh. Okay. That was it. Big mirror, can you blame her? Ten of hearts. She's not actually ten, I hope. I hope you can Oh Quan! It's you! Oh my god. It's the most beautiful woman you've ever met. She puts a hand to her chest the moment she sees Quan. Um, uh, hi. Good, good to see you. One is blushing like a rose. I, I, I'm so happy you're back. I've missed you so much. Can can you stay? I, I'm uh, kind of on duty. Maybe uh, s some other time. Looks at the rest of you. Yeah, unless you all want to take a break for a while. Any of your friends? Go on, Quan. We'll show you. Show ourselves out, and it's on us, whatever it costs. Sure, but we want to take a break with her. It's time for that now. Come back on your own time. Your friends. Friends. <laughs> I uh, hope we are. Of course we are, Quan. You are my dearest friend, my island of peace. I still have to pay you, though. <laughs> How real a friendship is that? It's as real as it can be. More real than it should be. You say that, but do you mean it? Let me prove it to you. Sure. How about it? Really? That. Thank you so much. Uh, you might want to <laughs> get yourselves a Fuck drink you know. or play some blackjack. I'm going to be a while. That's the ten of hearts. Ten? I. Uh... Oh, Quan. It's been so long. Goodbye. Enjoy, Quan. Ooh, don't stop. Don't ever stop. OS. Please come back. Quan got the benefit okay. now as well. Please. Oh, buddy, what did you come into? Uh, us exploring a casino nightclub uh, brothel thing. And apparently one of our little companions has previous relations with the... Um, the young lady in that room. Um, right, we went in that room before and started a fight that we weren't ready for. Oh, man, I no love more gambling for me. I best. learned my lesson. But I've heard a rumor um, that there's no but yeah. How are you, money? Party up at Aspen every year. Uh, I'm for sure get an invite this year. Hit boss. Also, G-string theory. She's a oh, little pong. Excessive force. Quick boss. draw. <laughs> you want to pay for it? Run, but I go. Portraits from 30 years ago, but Mr. Brogo looks exactly the same. Oh, 
Goon, Nightclub, oh, Pit Boss. Can I talk to the Pit Bosses or are they just like generic dudes? I don't know what. Enjoy the party, but stay out of the rooms behind the You bar. mean go behind the bar? You have 11 protons? Because you're sodium fine. Oh. You are definitely on my Welcome most my wanted list. Ah, Rangers, what a pleasure. I heard you were in town. You it must the doctors. Oh, well, I hope you feel better. Cross paths. Uh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and Angela did, and the rest helped me save Vegas. And I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine clothes being back in business. My capos and I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for oh, selling suits from the bazaar. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brago. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of that town we lost. Perfect, isn't it? Uh, yeah, thanks. You've given it a lot of class. Uh, you know Angela Death and General Vargas? You haven't heard the story? Hey. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago, Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a-blazing and, and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Of course, 15 years later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you, too. Anyway, that shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Nightclub legal. <laughs> you think the patriarch would let an illegal business operate right on his doorstep? <laughs> Everything I do is approved and on the level. I'm even a member of the Chamber of Commerce. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. Uh, I heard to say Vargas is dead and his sacrifice saved all of Arizona. Damn. I'd heard rumors, but... Well, I'm not surprised that's the way he went out. A hero to the end. Thank you for telling me. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? Hmm... What's about the little Vegas? Ah, uh, I know any attempt to recapture the past is doomed to failure. But I had to try. It's not quite Vegas, but it's close. And since I can't go back, this will have to do, won't it? And besides, the customers don't know it's a pale imitation. To them, this is paradise. All of Sin City behind one door. Uh, why did you move to Colorado? Like I said, 15 years after the Rangers saved us, the robots came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. That painting behind you. Ah, yes. Had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? The painting was commissioned before the robots came. That's 20 years ago. How is it you don't look a day older? Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. But really, it's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. We're helping the marshals with an investigation. Could you answer some questions? Certainly. Ask away. Uh, 
An angsty guy. Do you know anything about who let the Dorseys into the city? What? I don't want those kind of connections. Murder in the streets is bad for business. If I were you, I'd be looking for someone with a grudge against a patriarch. Not exactly a short list, I know, but... Hmm. Good information that Delgado is being held in your back rooms. Who told us that? Um. Okay. Good information, you say. That's better information than I have there. Nobody told me nothing. But I'm sorry. I can't let you go back there. My property, my rules. And if you try it without my permission, my capos will defend my property by all means necessary. Understand me? Hmm. What a shame. Nothing I like more than a good grilling. Good luck. Need to find evidence to be able to arrest him. Obviously something to do with this. Ugh. So gaudy. So ostentatious. The bride goes in his lounge. You can go up. Do you have any intel for me? I love the having a good time. It's the best. Woo! Woo! This place rocks, right? Woo! Hey, you're cramping my moves. Woo! Woo! Chug, chug, chug! Let's get crunk! I need to get back here. How can one do that? I wish I could afford to drink like you. I'm stuck with Gore's no life. Do, Pallies. Mr. Ah. Brygo says you've what? taken him for enough. I love you. Sorry, me, I'd let you play, Sorry, but so he's the boss. Mr. Brygo Even, like, says no more. Totally Enjoy the party. party. But you stay out of the rules you're behind the bar. pretentious by calling a shit beer unpretentious, right? Fucking hunter of family cake eater. We've got oh, drinks, on, dancing, and games fun. of chance. Pick your I poison. Love your scarf. Where'd you buy it? If I told you now. Hello again, red hats. That guy named Kendall, what's with the name? <laughs> you like it? He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the unwise decision to double cross Mr. Brigo. So, the boys took him into the back room. Had him in there for weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore. And without Master John Goodfellow. Kendall! Get it? What a revolting story. Yeah, he didn't like it much either. Especially the ending. No, Delgado's in the back rooms. We need to get in there. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats. But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that. Right? Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. And this for you. Way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. Thanks, Santa. Tell us where to find the guy. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal, yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. 
Alrighty. Till next time, red hats. Alrighty. We have a lead. Yeah. Oh shit, look at the time. Alright, um, chat, what we're gonna do as I've got D&D tonight moved from Saturday to Friday and I've also got some stuff I need to sort out and I need to help my mum. I promised I'd help her pack some stuff because they're going away for a week tomorrow morning. Um, so I get a week apiece. Wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm going to help them do some stuff. Um, well, I'm going to wrap up the stream. Then I'm going to help them sort some stuff out. And then obviously I'm going to continue with D&D &D and stuff tonight. Should be fun. Looking forward to it. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be live. I will try and be live early again. It depends on what time I decide to get my ass out of bed and I have to have a workout. Um, tomorrow, because I didn't stream yesterday because I wasn't feeling very well, what I probably will do is tomorrow we'll start with some Final Fantasy VI like that for a good while, and then maybe we'll do some more of this. Might do some Siege. We'll see how it goes. Um, Hello, Rangers. <clears throat> what? This is Gideon Reyes. I'm addressing you from Broadmoor Heights. The Patriarch has made it known that you are in need of logistical support. Yes. I can happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. Hey. It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights, and I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Come find me here. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna shave the game. Okay. <clears throat> I need to make menu. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. We'll be starting with Final Fantasy VI, and then we'll see where the day takes us. We might do some more Wasteland. Um, we might do some Siege, we might do some other stuff, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this, um, they've tweaked so many nice things about this. A little buggy here and there, um, as with all, especially turn-based RPGs, it seems to be like a common thing. Um, but it has only been out for like, for, what, 18 hours, some shit. Um, <clears throat> so, hope you guys are enjoying it as well, we will be playing through all of this. We might be doing multiple runs, because there definitely seems to be a bit more choice and consequence to how you do things um but yeah thank you guys for hanging hope you guys have had a wonderful day and i will catch you guys tomorrow take it easy